Ah, welcome, welcome, welcome to Margarita Monday. Usually it's Whiskey Wednesday, but we will not have internet on Wednesday evening. So we thought we would do this a bit earlier and have it on Monday. Also, tomorrow's Jocelyn's birthday. So we figure why not start the celebration a bit earlier? So I know I said we start at 7 Chicago time, but we're starting a bit earlier because we had some people over in the UK and in Europe that wanted to get on and didn't want to stay up till 3 o'clock in the morning. So I thought we'd start a little bit early to get things going. Uh, you may notice this is not our usual uh, visiting location. We were actually at a uh, rental. Um, so we're, we actually got out and about. So we're having a nice time here and the internet seems to be good enough that we can actually do a live feed. Hopefully the kids won't get on Netflix or anything because I don't think it's going to make it. Hey, hey, Maul, Mr. Blonde, Jake, Infinite Horizons, Laura Riles, Jody, good to see you on here. Oh, Aquarius, uh, wait, Aquarii, Aquarius, sorry. Hi, Walt. <laughs> I'm new to subscribe and I've been binge your videos for days. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you so much. That is really nice. Mo, Mo, this is one of the reasons we're here early for you, buddy, so you can get some sleep tonight, my friend. Good to see you, Tasha. Good to see you, Emily. Hope you're doing well. Leo, good to see you, buddy. Alexander. Randy, things are going well. We've uh, been enjoying the beach and the beach place we're staying at, so uh, not too bad, not too bad. Hey, Mark Finley, good to see you up on there. Good to see you, Kim. Glad you could join us. Nick Barnett's as well. Del Boy, oh, in Wales, nice. I'm glad we can start early to hopefully get you in bed in time for a good day's work tomorrow. Oh, Ryan, thanks for loving the videos. I appreciate it, man. Rylan, sorry, that, I appreciate it. Good to see you on here too, Brent. She was on here at Quiet Night History. Good to see you. Thank you very much for loving the channel. Gabriel Santos and Rick, Mr. Blonde, always a pleasure traveling the world. Good to see everybody on here. Um, <laughs> Kathy Falk up in Michigan. Brent, um, I had a TikTok a few years ago when TikTok first came out, but I do not have it anymore. Um, just too many social media feeds to try to keep up with. It got to be where it was like, there's just too many. So we really just stuck to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so there's that. And we have Pinterest as well, and LinkedIn. Okay, so we still have a lot of other things you can find us on, but it got to the point that we just don't have enough, we just don't have enough time for the two of us to kind of run everything here. Mr. Blonde, 547, it's 647 in Chicago right now, Mr. Blonde. It is 747 where I am though. Oh, Odensa, Denmark. So we're talking about if things open up next year, the boys have not been to Denmark, Craig, so we are looking to take them to Denmark and Norway uh, next spring uh, so we can do uh, get them to show them some of those beautiful countries up there. Let's see. Oh, of course, it's in Detroit. Very nice. We'll be up in Michigan later this summer, hopefully, if everything goes right. Hey, Babs. Yeah, we try to surprise sometimes. <laughs> Judy's asking, where's my better half? So, uh... We are here in, uh, in in Tybee in Savannah, and C Caleb grew up here. You know, we we you know we have a lot of friends here, and so one of Caleb's best buddies who still lives here in Savannah, they came and they were fishing, and so Jocelyn's taking him, uh, taking Caleb, Caleb and his friend back to Caleb's friend's house. So they're coming back now. Uh, so she'll be here in a little bit, but I wanted to get started so I could you know have some time with you all since you I know you all love Jocelyn. That's why her picture's right there in case you miss her, but she'll be here soon. And glad to see you all are liking this Simply Jocelyn channel. We thought we could get youtube.com slash Simply Jocelyn, but someone else got it literally like two or three days before we had the right to actually ask for it. So we're trying to find a new thing for her channel. But yeah, if you look up Simply Jocelyn, you'll see Jocelyn has all kinds of stuff coming out. Um, we have, uh, how many? Her friend Sandra and her filmed 52 videos over four days, and it's 42 drinks and 10 kind of tip videos. So uh, like tipping, not tipping, but like tips in terms of, you know, how to make a twist and, and your glasses and things like that. So uh, there is a lot, you're gonna have a lot of Fridays with drinks and Tuesday tips coming up um, once I start getting those edited and put together. So uh, there will be a lot, 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 lot of Jocelyn coming on Simply Jocelyn. So, and we're, we're looking to see what other things we can do. She actually, we're in this Airbnb, or it's a, v, it's a VRBO, actually, and, uh, like, it is the cruddiest kitchen ever. Yet, somehow, she pulled off making a low country boil, and we filmed that. So, that will be coming, hopefully, next week on her channel. So, uh, 
once I get home and I have like the, the good computer with actually multiple USB ports where I can plug multiple things in, we can start doing some things there. Hey, Mariposa, good to see you. Nick Peterson, what's up, buddy? Let's see. Oh, Kim made the potatoes. Very nice, very nice. Mary Trouble in Russia, good to see you there. Sigaran in, in Singapore. Bubba in Oklahoma, always a pleasure. Oh, you're very welcome, Bubba. I'm glad we could help out. Earl John in Australia, thank you very much. I'm glad the videos could help out as well. Timothy and Timothy in Queens, cool place, cool place. We got a chance to visit. Casey Tudor, greetings from Athens, Georgia. We were there in November, had a good time. Actually, what the funny thing is, we were in Athens and because Jocelyn's like dream birthday gift was to go to a Georgia game. So I got her tickets to the Georgia Mizzou game. And Georgia, of course, destroyed Mizzou. So it was a very good time. But I actually did not make a video on visiting Athens. So we were just having a good time when we were there. So there is that. Let's see. Ooh. Arian, hello, hello, good to see you. Judy loves Hybe and love you too. Oh, thank you very much. So Thomas Dew says, hey, did you ever feel scared or unsafe visiting New Orleans with your family? I was never scared with the family. There's a couple of times I felt uncomfortable only because it was like, it's kind of like six o'clock when things, or seven o'clock when it kind of turns on Bourbon Street. And we were coming back from dinner and it was nothing bad. Like I wasn't really worried about my kids at all, but I just don't want anybody throwing up on them because uh, that tends to happen whenever we go to Vegas. Well, not Vegas, but uh, New Orleans. People like, you know, just have too much. But I, I've never really been worried. Um, it, it's kind of, it's one of those things, like, you just know what to look out for. Like, whenever you see people at the bars, like, starting to start trouble, you just kind of walk, get out of your way, and, and you go someplace call? else. I have a call. Hello? Oh, my. It is a... Robocall. Shocking. I love robocalls. How many robocalls do you all get a day? Uh, yeah, so anyway, we're having a good time. Let's see. Emily says, you should come see the trolls at the Morton Arboretum. Uh, one day I'll be able to speak again. If Liam is interested in Norwegian trolls, since you mentioned Norway travel. Um, I haven't told him about the trolls yet in Norway. I'm sure he'll get a, I'm sure he'll get a kick out of that. Yeah, they have trolls in Norway. It's the legend they have. So they have all kinds of little troll things. Remember the trolls we saw in Iceland? They were they, the wood-carved ones? I don't know if you remember that. You were pretty young then. No? Oh, well. Oh, Giselle, you're not late. You're not late at all. You're seven minutes early. We just started about 15 minutes early, so there is that. Yes, Mr. Bond, the football is strong in Georgia. That is true. Hey, Samantha is in the house. Good to see you, Sam. Okay, Niall is wondering about any, or Niall, sorry, any tips on travel to Rome on a budget? So one thing you have to realize is your budget, it doesn't really matter where you stay in Rome, you're going to you're gonna pay up, and so it doesn't matter. So I would not stay out of town to save money to take public transport in or to take taxis in, because you can just walk around if you're in town. So I would not waste your money doing that. I would stay in, your big, your big spend is going to be on your hotel and just, just accept that, okay? There's not really find a lot of deals. If you stay by Termini Station, you can find some like acceptable deals out there. Um, so there is that. Um, Charlene, hey, good to see you on YouTube on here. Uh, but now um, I would also look at, um, depends where you eat. Like you're obviously, you know, the, the lunch special kind of stuff is always a good deal. But I mean, sometimes it's just getting the, the pizza where you like get a certain size of pizza and stuff like that. There are some pretty good deals and I don't really have any, I've, I've never found Rome to be an expensive big city like you find with like Paris or London and stuff like that. That's one of the things I really enjoy about it because it's a world city that you can enjoy on a budget, on a normal person's budget. So it is very nice. Hey, Freddie in London. Good to see you. Thank you for loving on the videos. Oh, Casey, a student here at UGA. Nice place. Nice place. Good to hear. Oh, Thomas Reiser, my Savoy buddy. Good to see you on here too. Mr. Blonde, so y'all went back to the old chat. Yeah, we, we don't have the Facebook one on today. Um, I, I don't have the computer that can handle all the stuff. I just have my Surface, which usually did okay, but lately it's been a little temperamental. So I figured, you know what? We're just going to stick with our usual, you know, YouTube version of it. And maybe this weekend we'll do um, another. We'll do one on your on Jocelyn's page with uh, Simply Jocelyn. So maybe we can do some stuff with that. So we'll, we'll try that. 
Um, oh, Hans and, and Oslo, we're trying to get up your way the next next spring if we can if we can if we're allowed to come over next spring if everything's going okay. Uh, Euro Pfeiffer, ever planning a trip to Liechtenstein? I've been there a couple times actually. Um, we were supposed to go there this summer when we were in Switzerland. We were going to go over, but since that COVID thing, our, our plans kind of got messed up. And a lot of people have been asking, well, what are you going to do next year? What, what, what's your trip's going to be? Right now, I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing. Um, oops, sorry, trying to. Um, I'm not really sure what our travels are going to be because I know like the wedding we were, I'm supposed to be in, that I'm supposed to be in, in June this year is going to be for next June. So now we've got to try to like, okay, so we have to make sure we can plan that out. And so everything's kind of up in the air now. And then of course we don't know how COVID's going to go. So we don't know what the fall is going to hold, if we're going to have more trips that are canceled. And so we've had quite a few, uh, <laughs> we've had quite a few trips that have been canceled, like trips I'm like, Oh yeah, there's there's that that one's gone. That one's gone. Actually, I had my my notebook and I had like oh the flights we have this year and I like to see like because I you know when you get the miles you're like I wonder how many miles I'm gonna get and I'd done the math and all this kind of stuff and I went through when we were driving I down think it's down here. Flights. No, I'm not counting the fights. Yet. Liam, you want to come and talk for a little bit with us? Nah. Yeah. Nah. All right. Maybe later. No. no. Okay. But I was going through it. I'm like, no, nope, didn't do that one. Didn't do that one. That's been canceled. That's been canceled. That's been canceled. That I was just like, oh, there's no travel really scheduled. So, and I know we've all been going through that. So there is that. Uh, Mark Finley asks, is your Wi-Fi at the rental better than your house? No. Uh, this one has a 10 megabyte uh, download and a four megabyte upload. So that's why Liam's playing video games on my phone and not watching Netflix or anything like that. Ryan Donahoe, Donahoe's in the house. Hmm. St. Martin opens up this week if you have a COVID test before you arrive. Um, actually at my work, I'll be starting when I get back to work next month, I, they start testing this thing twice a month. So, hey, maybe it'll be that. Hey Purdue, hope you're doing well. The lighting looks good. Well, the lighting is because the sun is setting right over there and it's a very interesting kind of thing. Ivy in Denver, good to see you. Show you the sunset. Okay, so hopefully this doesn't, I'm gonna adjust the uh, the window here. Hopefully it'll stick a little bit so I can show you a bit of where we're at. Oh, so you can't really see the sunset there, but out on the back river here on Tybee, really nice I mean it's just it's nice relaxing you know this isn't the busy part uh, busy parts like the, the like ocean beach um, this is just the back river so it's actually like uh, where we're staying they didn't want us to stay here we had a promise so we wouldn't let the kids go out in the back because the current's so bad here um, so we have to be out there with them so I've been spending I spent if you can't tell I spent some time out fishing today Caleb actually did pretty good catching fish, so that's nice oh Conan Shin did a nice job on KC I appreciate I don't think it's in Missouri, or it was one of those things, and I some people like like that's political. I'm like, no, it's just we all make those mistakes. So I was like, I'm gonna wait to put that one out. So I do have one more Kansas City video to come. So uh, we will have one for you there. <laughs> Mary Posta says, I miss whis whis whiskey Wednesdays, but Margarita Mondays sound good in the neighborhood. Uh, descended from Gullah people. Oh yeah, and my mom's mom's side is the twenty some relatives moved to Savannah. Yeah, so we were gonna be going to Defusky Island, but everything's closed down. Uh, and now that they've had a big spike here, it's like really everything's closed down. So we couldn't get to Defusky. Uh, so to see where the Gullah, the where some of the Gullah people are. Um, so that's really kind of cool. That's cool, Mary Posa, that's awesome. John Vicks, brand new fan, very informative vids. The wife and I are headed to Cancun from Minnesota for the first time early 2021. Perfect time to go early or early in the year um, because you'll beat the spring break crowd. So you can go do a lot of stuff and the people actually are really nice there. And actually, um, if you're gonna do things when you don't have all the people all around you, you, know you how, it's a lot easier to do things. Yes? You know how I said about the make-believe zombie tower? <coughs> yes, I know how you said about the make-believe zombie tower in your game. I just found out the poison um, wizard actually makes the balloons go against the other balloons. Wow. Um, Fascinating. Thanks, buddy. 
So Liam, Liam got a new game on my phone, and he has been sharing with me every single character he's got. Every single one. Uh, for the others who have kids, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's see. Let's go back up and some, find some questions. I think Jocelyn came in. She might have stopped. Did mom come in? Or was that your brother that came in? Somebody came in. I, or did you open up the... No, that somebody came in because the, the refrigerator went slammed. So Laura says, hi, Liam. Hi, Laura. Yeah. <laughs> Liam says hi. Let's see. So Nick Peterson made myself a slug burger. I saw that on the superheroes thing. Bread crust with the ground beef. Yeah, it is pretty good. Let's see. Ah, it just jumped on me. Okay. Um... Yes, my pussy, it really is lovely out here. Um, we Yesterday, the sunset was just spectacular, and they were out, Jocelyn and her friend were out fishing, and Caleb was out there with her. It was just like, it was just gorgeous. It'll, I'm sure it will show up in a few of our, our it'll, it'll show up on our Don'ts of Beach Vacation videos I filmed this morning, because it's like, oh, that sunset is too good not to use. Owen, oh, I have not been in New Zealand. That was actually part, New Zealand and Australia was our plan for the end of this year. Um, however, with COVID and how everything's kind of switched around, we don't know where things are. I don't want to shell out the money because go, getting there is not cheap. So we're waiting to see what's going on when we're going to get there. But it is some of the places we're going to go. So there was that. Anthony was going to ask about how the COVID situation was in Savannah. Um, in Savannah, you have to wear masks. In the city limits outside, like Tybee, there's nobody wearing masks here except for us when we go. But we've been just staying here, and then I'm the only one who's gone to the store. Um, so it, it's, it's kind of interesting that way. There have been quite a few more cases now. Uh, some of the stores here have actually limited, uh, purchasing certain items. Um, but we've basically spent all our time at the house we're staying at and then going to the beach and we actually brought a bunch of stuff down with us and then, uh, talked to our friends and they said, there's a Publix on the Island that was doing really good social distancing. So we went to that store to pick up the rest of our stuff, got here. And so, so we've done that. So and the friends we've hung out with have all been social distancing as well so and, and quarantining so it was like so we got to see some people so we're being we're being smart so let's see Liam Nick says hi as well so Thomas Doe did you ever worry about pickpockets in New Orleans nah I don't know nah, not at all uh, the only thing you have to worry about in New Orleans are the guys that come up to you and go hey I, I bet you I, I bet you ten dollars I know where you got your shoes and you're like, oh, I got them in, no, 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 you got them in New Orleans. You got them on your feet, like, and then they're like, give me the money. You know, they might body that way, but no. I, 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 New Orleans, I mean, there are issues in New Orleans, but if you're going to be where the tourists are and stuff like that, you're usually probably okay. Um, you just got to be smart about it, so there is that. Uh, Catherine asks, do you collect points on certain hotels like Merritt, et cetera? If so, which one? For hotels, not so much, um, because we travel so, like, to South America a lot and Europe, and so the chain hotels aren't really where we stay so it's not really a big payoff like if we stayed like if we travel a lot in the u.s like we try to usually stay in like hilton properties or ihd properties when we're in the u.s just because we have points for that but we don't we don't travel enough within the u.s to to like make it that that big of a deal so it's kind of like wherever we get a better a better um kind of deal we'll do that um now with flying we we do delta all the time because we all have stat like even the lapoys have status with delta because we fly so much with them so that's we're always trying to fly with them so there's that Hey, Liz, good to see you on here. Ooh, Purdue is going to Amelia Island. Nice. Um, Jocelyn has been. I have not. Hey, Darian, good to see you up on here. Oh, wow, I just got a big jump here. Uh, let's see. So Laura is asking me, what's the latest on the university I teach at, presumably online for the fall. So uh, they are having students come back, and it's going to their hybrid classes I will find out, I have not found out yet, I will find out probably tomorrow if my classes are online or if it's like some students are there because the option was you have it where like some of the students come on one day and some of the students come another day but then at the same time you're filming it as well so it's kind of like online too so there is that. Um, I would guess because my classes are pretty big I'm going to guess they'll probably be online but we'll, I will find out tomorrow what they will they'll tell me what to do. And then they're going to send out like adjustments for schedules and stuff like that. So classes will be going late into the night and on the weekends probably. So they want to get students in there and keep them safe. So so that's that's good. Let's see. 
Oh, Derek's on here too. Hello, Derek. Hello, Lori Sims. Okay, you're a five for a three. Have you been to any Balkan countries and would you recommend them? Yes, I would. If you For the Balkans, I'm just going to say like former Yugoslavia. Croatia is fantastic. Like that is a definite country you really need to visit. Slo Slovenia, I think, is a hidden gem in Europe that a lot of people go to and you should. Montenegro was nice when I was there. And I'm trying to get this. We were, again, Serbia and some of the other places we were going to be going to this summer and that got dashed. But they are, they are, it's, it's worth going to, especially for as far as your money goes and what you see, you, you don't realize how much stuff is actually down in there that you can enjoy for history and just beauty and stuff. So definitely check some of those out. I, I, I like Croatia the best and Slovenia the best in terms of for tourists and stuff, uh, but they all have some good stuff to do. Let's see. Oh, it's jumping around on me. Hey, Michael and Hot Palm Streams area in California. Yeah, so uh, for those who don't know, the European Union will be announcing, I mean, they've already had the list is kind of out, but if you're looking for what countries will be able to visit the Europe, European Union from July 1st, uh, the U.S. did not make the cut or is probably not going to make the cut uh, because of the spike in COVID numbers going on right now. So sadly, we will not be going to Europe anytime soon. So hopefully things will get, we'll get things back under control here and we can... Oh, they'll open up for American tourists in the fall. So uh, keep our fingers crossed for that. Let's see. Traveling the world, how would you rank U.S. airlines? Uh, Delta 1. Southwest 2. JetBlue Jet 3. Then probably American, then United, Frontier, Spirit, Allegiant. Kind of how I, I would go that way. But for me, it's like Delta and Southwest are, are above and beyond uh, what, what anything else you want to do when you're going to be there. So, so that's what I would really say. Um, so Kaylin wants to know, have you ever been to a country that treated you rudely because you did not know their language? Here's the thing. As long as you try, even if you try like like you try to say thank you and you mess it up, people will realize that, and that's actually that actually goes a long way. I haven't really had any problems with people getting upset with me. Um, I have had it sometimes where people like have been drunk and said something, which I, I like it's not normal. I, it, yes, it's normal people, but it's like late night. You know, if you're out after midnight or one o'clock in the morning, you know, you're in a different situation. Um, that was the only times I ever did anybody like, oh, you should speak, you know, Finnish, or you should speak Lithuania, you should speak English, or you speak Portuguese. I'm like, I do. I'm just speaking this language with these people because that's what they speak. Uh, but I haven't really had too many problems. And, and one thing I always really found, if you, one of our first series of videos we did back in the day was um, 10 words you should know in another language. So it was always like, please, thank you, yes, no, where is, bathroom, you know, and so it was things like that. So you can do that and you're like, oh, because a, a long way, go, a thank you goes a long way, a please goes a long way. Even if you don't speak, I mean, you point and say, please, I mean, you'll be surprised how it really breaks down the walls. And also it shows that you care. I mean, we always would talk about the one like, uh, je ne, pardon, je ne peux pas français, je suis idiot. You know, it's like, I'm sorry, I don't speak French, I'm an idiot. And people start laughing. They're like, oh, we can help you out, you silly tourist. And so it is kind of fun. So just be open with it. And you'll be okay. Let's see. So Thomas Leonard says, Europe is opening up to 14 countries, including Canada, potentially July 1st. Do you think it's safe to go traveling Europe for Canadians? Um, I think it's as safe as going around Canada. Um, just you want to make sure you make the, the right choices and make sure you have your wipes and your, your hand sanitizers and your masks and stuff like that. Um, they are available in Europe, but uh, you, if you probably feel more comfortable, you take your own stuff so you're not looking for it and worrying about it. Oh, look who's here. Hi. Hello. Would you like to say hi? You I just said hi. hi. Okay. So Thomas hi. Reiser likes to get to it at Champagne CMI. Yeah, Mr. Bond, United is the worst. So we used to we used to fly United religiously back in the day. We used to take student groups with United. And then 2000, was it 15? 14, 15, they just started treating us like garbage. And then 16, like there was one trip. I'm like, we're done. We're done. And then Jocelyn still had like free tickets and stuff. So she was using those and they screwed us over there too. So we're like, we're done with you. It was bad. It was so bad that... Um... I went up to customer service and I said, can someone help me? And there were five people 
who just stared at me. They didn't say a word. They just yeah. looked at me. I said, okay, well, I'm really mad, so which one of you wants it? And finally, one lady goes, I'll, I'll take you. I was like, oh, my God, you got to be kidding. Anyway, yeah, so that was awesome. And you're going to have to excuse me. I have had a, uh, a migraine today. I think it's just sitting in the sun too much. Um, so I'm not, like, up to my usual chipper self. No. So Hans, <clears throat> he's from Norway. Yeah. He's from Oslo. He says, if you ever come back to Oslo, we're looking actually to go in the spring. Should visit the new library near the Opera House and the new National Museum next to the Nobel Peace Prize Center. Cool. I've been to all those other places, so that's cool. They I like libraries. Recently. Big fan of libraries yeah. and bookstores. Yeah, Oslo's, Oslo's a nice town. Or city, <laughs> I should say. Yeah. So let's see. Hi, everybody. Hey, Corey. Oh, Corey, that was really nice. Thank you, Corey. Corey says, your channel's made my traveling so much better. Oh, thank you. Kelly Spera. <laughs> oh, Francis, only can be here for a little bit. I'm currently traveling. Exciting. Oh, yay. Cool. Good for you. Oh, Bubba said, oh, that's what you're saying, Kelly Spera. Yeah, Bubba. I did. And hi to Nick and Nick. Um, hey, Darian. And um, hello, both of the means to travel. Um, wait. Oh, yeah, that's Mrs. Pair. Okay. Um, sorry. It's means to travel and Mr. Means to travel. I know. There's no Mrs. Means to travel. Y'all, I'm telling you, my my brain is addled right now. Um, <laughs> it is nice to see all of you. Bonsoir, Mariposa. Oh, um, my, Michael's hoping to get to Vancouver someday. So Vancouver oh, is great food, yummy. but I actually like Seattle a bit better, but you can take the train from Vancouver down to Seattle pretty easy. So. Did I hear you when I walked in? I swear I heard you talking about the gala. Can I tell y'all something really amazing? So well, one of our, um, oh, who was it? Is somebody on here? Is yeah, their 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 great grandma. That's really amazing. Uh, <coughs> I have the utmost respect, and I am just fascinated by the Gullah um, culture. And um, down here, I've worked on a lot of Gullah Geechee um, buildings and things, trying to either save them or, at, at the very least, um, you know, record them for for future sake for the generations coming after us um but a couple our last live stream i got slightly political and i asked y'all to like look into this thing it was the georgia house bill 906 and it was going to make all heritage preserves saleable and they were specifically um a, a guy a developer in atlanta was trying to develop um tear down a barn at butler island butler island is really important it was part of um, the largest uh, slave sale in in the United States, and it's the island is very sacred to the Gullah. Not just the Gullah. I mean, so many people have traced their ancestry to this. It gives me goosebumps. I mean, it's but horrific. Tell, but tell them the good but news. I am. So it is. It's just this hugely important place, and it was. It was completely squashed in committee this week and most of it they actually came out and said it was because so many people jumped on there was so much dissent and um so if any of you voted on that or like you know signed signed the the thing or whatever um thank you because you have just done Saved something the, amazing yeah, yeah it's great thank you so much yeah okay so anyway so Happy journey for the gullah. I know that's awesome. It was Mary Posa. <clears throat> oh, awesome! It's her great grands. Um, so Jody wants to know where's the best way to participate? Watch us live on YouTube or elsewhere. On you for today, it's YouTube. Usually, when we do this, we've been doing it on YouTube and Facebook. Um, but today, with since we're at a you know rental and who knows the Wi-Fi, I'm just like you know what, we're just gonna just do the a plain old YouTube one today and do that so we could so we could have some stuff here. Let's see. Oh, Mo's on here as well. He was hey, Mo. Uh, well, yeah, it's kind of late there, huh? Um, ooh, so California just had a big spike, too. That stinks. Um, yeah, they closed their bars, I think, and gyms. Yeah, I feel like um, the warm weather places kind of spiked more than others, and I, I don't, you know, me and my idiocy, I think that it's probably just because people couldn't stand it anymore, and they went and got out and didn't you know pay attention when they got out yeah but get, I mean, but you lose I, it, we you will forget. say when we, when we drove down from illinois i mean it was i was amazed we we got to tennessee and very few people were in masks and here we've seen very few people wearing masks and so. this, the further on we got the less masks we saw um but i think it's just the uh the heat and i mean you know people and you it's, forget right 
I get it. Lena, that, yeah, so we just need to make sure we are. That's why we have actually more masks on our website. Um, I've talked to our guy. He's he's can get us someone with little mustaches and smiley faces. So we're trying to expand. Getting the <laughs> Walter's World logo on the mask was prohibitively expensive, or we would have to buy like ten thousand of them, something stupid like that, to make it worthwhile. So that's Mache. Hello, she's in Deadwood. That's hey. awesome. I love Deadwood. What a cool place. I actually we had talked about like um, possibly going up that way, and just it's such a beautiful drive up there. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Hello, Minneapolis. Um, Sorry. I can't Where were we? Um, Someone was in Peoria, I saw. I, I saw that. Oh, Shackleford. Rusty's in, Rusty's in Peoria. Good to see you. Um, how much of, in, Traveling the World says, how much of England can you visit without a car? I know you need a car for the Cumbrian Lake District and the Cotswolds. Where can I use a car? But where can I use a car? But where can I get by with public transit? So when you're in the cities, public transportation and you can take trains from you know major cities to other even small towns to, to other small towns but um yes you're right there are certain places you want to see by car because it's those little byways that are beautiful and and that's what you know you're going for um but i'm going to say this the trains in the uk are more expensive than trains Pretty much anywhere else. Yeah, in they're, they're, I mean, they're they're not cheap. They're pretty crazy. Unless so. you do a same day return, like you do a day trip, it's very it's like a couple more pounds just to come back the same day. Uh, so do have a heads up for that. Um, but yeah, I was yeah I remember when I used to travel there a lot back in the day. I was like, oh my gosh, where'd all my money go? Oh, in the trains. Um, but you can do like you can get to Bath and you, in public transport you can do like a trip a bus out to Stonehenge and you can get to Cardiff and York and Manchester all the city ones you can do get to just fine but if you want to go explore like the the stately manors and stuff like that that's that's where you're gonna need the car so just have a heads up for that um, let's see Ooh, jumped around let's see do 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 <laughs> My God, yeah, the whole world wishes we were back in 2019. Amen to that. Oh, but Mount Rushmore, nice, nice. Let's see. Ah, I'm so used to doing the other one where it has Facebook and YouTube together that now that I'm using the YouTube one again, I'm like, ah, the jump, the jump. Oh, man. Oh, let's see. Oh, so someone was, oh, where'd it go? Someone is supposed to be going to Prague for study abroad. Ooh. Um, in September, and they're worried they might, be, might not be able to get there. Yeah, it's a tough one right now. Oh, that's true, Bubba. If, if the house of you buy ten masks, yes, that we could do that. Um, <laughs> bye, Dana. See you. See you later. Um. So. Let's see. No, I think they were saying see you all. Like, nice to see you back. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, so, Marcia, did you get to go see? Did you get to go see uh, Crazy Horse? Because Crazy Horse is one of my favorite things up there. I hope you did. Okay, go ahead. Answer your question. No, it's fine. Okay, Ever Marquez. Is yeah. Is that the one? Hi guys from New York City. Been following you guys for years. Love all your videos. Thank oh, you so thank much. Thank you. That's very fun. Steph Taylor, good to see you on him from Worcester. 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 Hi. Worcester. Worcester. You're gonna have to teach me how to say that the right way. The, the the words just are not flying off my mouth today. Uh, is that Jody or Judy said happy birthday and thank you um, and said to do acupuncture or acupressure. I usually do um, when I'm at home. I'll go to my chiropractor and he does acupuncture for me. Um, and I have stuff. I just didn't. I didn't think to bring anything here with me. And um, I wish I'd brought certain things like um, oh maybe a knife because there are literally. Three tiny little sharp knives, like one paring knife. Oh, are you talking about our, our stuff here? Uh, this is, uh, this this is, is the, the most least stock worst kitchen stuff. I have seen in any place. This place is amazing for the view, the location, the amount of space, for the price. It's, it's incredible. But my gosh, there are, four, there are six forks and six spoons and six knives. And we have four people. And we're eating three meals a day in this house. So I have to wash the forks and spoons. We all I have, have to wash, wash everything. Yeah, well, yeah, we have to wash them all day, every day. When do we, I'm doing more dishes here than I do at home. It's insane. Don't you feel like we're washing more dishes? Yeah, it's well, yeah, it, it's kind of like going back to what? March and April when we had it. We were, you know, we didn't go out, we didn't do anything. We just stayed home and 
It's like, oh my goodness. But it, well, it's funny. that was most of May, too. Yeah, that was most of May, too. But it's just weird because usually, you know, like you go someplace, they have like 10 of something. No, this is like, there's one for each person that's allowed in the house. And it's like, and it's it's interesting. Oh, Charlene, you were talking about you were watching on Roku versus YouTube. Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh, okay. okay. So. So, um, hello, Erwin in the Netherlands. Um, there is another way to book it. Stuart Ross, there is another way to book trains cheaper is to break up your journey instead of direct route. Yeah, there's some hacks you can do with that. Um, you just got to know what you're doing. Yeah. So Pixel Ant, have you been to Israel? We were supposed to go in November and that got canceled. So we moved it till this June. And then that COVID thing happened. So that got canceled <laughs> again. So we are trying to figure out where to Pixel go. Pixel Ant, that, that hurts Mark. He's, yes, I'm still he's really unhappy about that. I mean, I'm not happy about it, but it's like been the thing that has really gotten me the most. I yeah. Think. So Lee yeah. Bridges was wondering if we had talked about the European Union. Uh, yeah, we talked about it a little bit earlier, Lee. But uh, so the EU uh, tomorrow, from July 1st will have a new set of a set of countries that can visit uh, without quarantine, and the U.S. is not on the list. Um, and I did not. They don't. They haven't put out. It, it, it's kind of like everyone has like the the draft list. But they haven't had the first, I don't think they've had the official communique out that says when they will reevaluate and stuff. So hopefully when they put that out, we'll find out what, when they'll reevaluate. So maybe we, we'll have it in the fall. So we can hope. Oh, Jose Miguel Golan. Oi. Estou feliz que estás cá, meu amigo do Portugal. Good to see you. Let's see. Where would you like to travel, but would not like to live, and why? Um, I don't know. I think, well, I love traveling to Japan. I'm actually going to be in a conference, uh, World Education Conference next year, um, hopefully, if it, if it happens. Um, and to, I think Japan's one of those places I love visiting, but I don't think I'd want to live there just because everything's so small and I'm so fat, so I, I, I don't fit. So it's more of a, it's more of my, a size thing for me. <laughs> so... There is that. Um, Jim Schaefer. Hi, Professor Walters and Jocelyn. Love your channel. I'm in Aspen, Colorado. It's beautiful. Yes, oh, Colorado is beautiful. But here, is there a reason why when we were driving down here, we saw more Colorado plates from Illinois to Georgia than we saw any other license plate? Was there like a big exit from Colorado last week or something? It was pretty funny. So I'm like, oh, Colorado. Colorado. Another Colorado. Another Colorado. Another Colorado. So it was pretty funny. Let's see. Oh, Mache says, Crazy Horse is the first thing on tomorrow's agenda, babe. Oh, good. You're going to love it. Oh, thanks, Nick. Wooster. Wooster. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Blonde, I had dim sum for the first time. It was amazing, but I have no clue if it was authentic. Jocelyn, do you know how to make it? Um, do you know how to make any dim sum? I have never made dim sum. She's never made some, but I know every time I go to London, my buddy who lives there, we go to the same place in Chinatown, and we've been going there for 20 years. And every time I go on Saturdays, when I'm, if I'm in London, and Saturday lunchtime, you will see me having dim sum because there's some legit stuff there. Man, it is so good. <sighs> Let's see. So I am Dan Reeve. So Dan's a, another ben, Big Ten guy. Um, I'm not sure about the U of I, University of Illinois, but Ohio State has canceled all study abroad until at least January 1st, 2021. They have done the same thing with the U of I. Um, that's all canceled. I know for me, I was looking to take some students and teach abroad again next summer or, or take it like in January, take students, but it's not going to happen now. And I don't think I don't think parents would let their kids do it anyway, even if things got better. So I don't know when I'm going to be taking students abroad again, which is sad because I always like doing that because it's, it's nice when I – when I take students abroad, a lot of times I'll do like a 10 day or a two week trip, maybe three week trip. And for those students, some of them, they can't do a semester abroad or they, their schedule doesn't allow it or they can't financially or just if it's too much for them. So it's a nice way to like open up their mind, their eyes to see new things. And so that's one of the things I always loved being a chance to be able to do that for a lot of my students and can't do that right now. So here is hoping that things will hopefully clear up in the future. Oh, fun fact, I was on my first magazine cover this week uh, for the uh, University of Illinois Geese College of Business annual report. Not necessarily the coolest thing, but there is at least that. 
Right. So, so if you want to, if you need a, a model, you know where to find me. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Jocelyn, Liz is laughing about your uh, the kitchen here. Here, Caleb. Yeah, it's. Uh, my mom says happy birthday. Thank you, Kath. It's jumping all around. Mm. Sorry. Michael had a comment I was going to do, but I have lost your thing, Michael. Sorry, buddy. Um, hang on. Yes, James, the kids are getting quite big. <laughs> they are. I'm actually, so today we were with um, one of Caleb's friends that it's my best friend's um, son, who is, what, four or three months older than Caleb. They have been coming to this back beach together since they were literally babies, like in diapers, and now they're... I mean, they're sounding like men and I don't know it's just crazy they're I don't know they're they're big and it's insane um so Lee that I, there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> that is that is sad I know you're trying to take your niece um for art school graduation to Italy I mean that, that is a tough one hopefully when this clears up she can you can take her in the future so you can do that um yeah, Mr. Blonde, Japan is also really expensive in the big cities. Shoot, it's expensive in the not big cities. Japan is not cheap at all. Um, James Burton, what's the most overrated city in Europe? I would say Pisa or Brussels. Oh, yeah, I'd go with both those. Yeah, those um, are my two ones. Yeah, for sure. Oh, mache has got dinner out. Okay, then have, <laughs> have a nice meal, Mache. Love you. Enjoy, enjoy your dinner. I just made the boys dinner. Ours will be a little chilly, but that's okay. There's is there's is there. And what's properly. important are the children. Yeah. Um. Help me help you. Myself, <laughs> husband, and my 13 year old daughter. We're going to Tampa in two weeks. First time there, but we see it's getting bad. Should we cancel and try for a later time? What are your thoughts? As much as, as much as Florida is is booming right now with this. Um, we're not seeing my sister right now. Yeah, she's and in Tampa. She's in Tampa. And so we made it. We we had to make that, a choice not to go. That was our choice. I mean, yeah, we made that decision. And in two weeks' time, I mean, who knows where things are? And the thing is, is I would look and see what your cancellation policies are for your hotels, because if they're like you know twenty four hours, then you have time to wait. But if it's like oh three days ahead, you might want to start lining up the the cancellations if you can get your money back. If you're thinking about doing that, it also depends what you're going to do. If you're going to be going in town, like if you're going to Ybor City. And you're going to be trying to eat the, the Cuban sandwiches and stuff like that. That then you got a lot of people around. It's very different than if you're going to like Clearwater Beach the whole time if it's not busy. You know, and and I don't know, seeing family that might be a little bit different too. Um, Babs is saying I'm going to Florida to see my mom in late July and have to self quarantine for 14 days when I return to New York. I'm nervous about going with the surge there. So I get it. And that by late July, you know, they may have things under control. This thing, we knew it was going to go in waves. And we're just on an up wave right now. There's an uptick. And, you know, that might get better. So, so keep but, our fingers crossed. Yeah. So Erwin Sherman asks, hello. Hello, Mark and Jocelyn. Um, did you ever hello. visit Dresden? Yes. I've been to Dresden quite a few times. Actually, I was, I was in Dresden. Before they rebuilt the Marion Kirche, so it was cool to see it when they were putting it together back together. But we've gone. Um, we were actually there last time we were there was at Christmas market, and if you're looking for a good Christmas market, Dresden has one of the best Christmas markets in Germany. Um, I don't know if they're going to have them this year, but it's definitely one of the best. But Dresden, Dresden is definitely worth checking out. If you ever seen the the Raphael, where it's the the two fat cherubs like together like this, looking up, and sometimes. Oh. No, not necessarily kidding. They're sitting by each other, but like if you ever were in oh, college, they have like what, they always make the, the this, one with this, the whole having a cigarette yeah. or something like that. That's the there. Like this, yeah. So the, the museums there are incredible. So it's worth a visit. And actually, what I usually recommend for people to do if they go to if they want to see Berlin and Prague, I always say stop in Dresden for a day or two on your way down to Prague. So train goes through there and do that. So, and if you're driving, you can go through there too. Ronnie is ready to get the uh, road trip on the way. Um, you know what? I get it. <laughs> Actually, as soon as we got out, we all kind of breathed a sigh of relief. Like just getting on the interstate was a thing. Yeah, it was. It was weird. Like because it's been since early February. 
really since we've done yeah. anything. And so it's But then my so, anxiety set in too. Yeah, and that's what's like I can drive. She's like, No, you'll make that'll make it worse. And so I'm like, Okay. When it, when we got to a point where I knew we were gonna have to stop on the road, I couldn't breathe. Like I just I yeah, I was having like anxiety over it, you know, just because it's like we've been in this bubble for so long and to leave this safe little nest that we've got was kind of scary. And, um, you know, but I'm so glad we did. And it's been good for us to be out. And like, I, as I'm talking to you, I'm looking out here at this marsh. And I've been looking at this marsh every summer for more than 20 years. And, uh, you know, it, it that calms me. I feel really good. But I know the minute I get back on in the highway and I have to drive back, I'm going to be like, oh, God, what are we going to encounter, you know? Ow. Thomas says happy birthday. Thank you, Thomas. Um, so, are you not going to eat the rest of Merci, Mariposa. What? Tra tra are you going to eat your steak? You can have mine, buddy. It's Kate. It's, he's Maybe. eating the end of me. I'm it's fine. So, um, Traveling the World says, what is a good weekend U.S. destination? I'm thinking San Antonio, but what other options are there? San Antonio is a great weekend destination. New Orleans, Charleston, Savannah, New York, Boston, <laughs> Chicago, Minneapolis, um vegas san diego san francisco seattle portland there's a lot of cities that make really good week, weekend destination in the u.s there is not a there's not a uh it's not too hard to find some good stuff um, i don't know how to pronounce your name ixiri maybe um uh sure. he says hi walters i'm moroccan and i loved your video around morocco oh thank we, you you know we may we enjoyed morocco actually and we went and did um fun de peace we went and did a cooking class there and we had the best time chef ilham was incredible and uh she yeah she and i still stay in touch you know, what that's been like two years later and year and a half 2018 no, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It was. Yes, I, oh, it feels like I went through years. the whole thing. My my mind. So. Okay. <laughs> so. Anyway, thanks. Yeah. So. Thanks, Elizabeth. And, and it's funny because if I would have known that um, the boys' shirts have been so popular, I would have got more. That that the the Moroccan jerseys got us to meet more people traveling than any other shirt we've ever had. It's the so truth. It's we should have bought. We should have bought bigger sizes for them. Um, so Liz wants to know if you have happy birthday, Jocelyn, and hope you have some stuff planned to celebrate. So um, we are going to see an old friend, um, actually old. He's um, he's quite elderly, but we're gonna we're gonna um, we've made arrangements so we can stand with our masks on outside um, his his house and. Um, he can be inside, but we can stand with the door open like 10 feet away and, and just say hi and just lay eyes on him and he can see us because he's he's been, you know, quarantined really strictly for quite a while. So mm -hmm. just trying to, to do that together. So it's really nice. But mm -hmm. um, And then we're going to have dinner with one of my friends. So, yep. yeah. Rusty Shackelford, the theme song for this stream is Jump from House of Banks. We're jumping around all the time. Yeah. You welcome to Welcome to this. Uh, let's see. Oh, Chuck says the most overrated city in Europe is Prague. Mark oh, would disagree. I disagree. I, I don't love Prague as much as most people do, but I really love the architecture. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but but that's I think thing yeah. Me. But we can understand. Like it's kind of like when I say when people say Paris is overrated. I mean, I can see where they're coming from. I can see where you can come from that Prague. I just wouldn't say that, but I mean, I can see where people can come from that. Salah, Mark. Did you ever consider writing a book about your travel experiences? Yes, I have. But um, we have so much stuff going on right now that things just keep getting back. And um, back okay, and back. bruh, says shotgun, shotgun a bush light. That's what I have. But I don't about. have any bush light with me. I have shotgun some bush lights in my day. So that is... Uh, uh, okay, bruh. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. All right. I just got a George Foreman grill. What do I make? Dude, paninis, steaks, mm -hmm. burgers, chicken breast, like literally any kind of food you want, you can make on a George Foreman. Just in make college, sure. that's all I use. And make sure you don't plug it into the same plug that has like your toaster or your refrigerator because it'll, else, it'll blow right? the fuse. I got that's one. There was the one gift. I, well, it was a panini grill, but whatever. So like the one thing I got for our wedding and uh, yeah, I can never use it. So. So, yeah, it would, just, blue, it would, it would blow, blow our, the fuse all the time. Our fuses every time, but you can do 
soup. You can do just about yeah, anything with that. Good. You can grill vegetables on them. I mean, truly, especially if you're one person, I feel like they're incredibly useful. Um, yeah. I I used it all the time in college. I don't know what happened to that thing. I you know, know you lose things after college, right? I don't know where they go. It's crazy. Oh, thank you, Pink Lady. Thank you, Pink Lady. Says, thank, thank you very you. much for the super chat. Hey, guys. A little something to help you with your awesome videos. Deb, a.k.a. Pink Lady. Thank you, Deb. Thank you so much, Deb. We really appreciate that. That's, That's really nice of you. Of thank you. you. Let's see. Chuck Draper, how did you get into travel vlogging? <clears throat> um, we actually have a video that talks about that, um, why we started or how we started. But really, the real vlogs really started because I got really tired of nice. the the blogs the blogs that were way over the top like every city is the best place ever and it's the most wonderful place it's the paris of the north the south the east the west whatever and i'm like and i remember i got a guidebook when i was visiting italy and i, I used the guidebook that i got at the airport and it made this one town sound fantastic i went there and it just sucked and i'm like man imagine my friends that only have like 10 days of vacation a year that maybe it's the one time they get to go to europe in their whole life and 10 percent of the vacation is ruined because somebody got paid off or or whatever to make every this town sound nice I'm like that's not fair to people and so that was kind of like my driving impulse to start making these videos to help people travel better and be better prepared to get the most out of their travels because i want people to have the best time possible so there's that <clears throat> but we have a new helpful traveler welcome to the team welcome jason. To the team, jason manto so there will be a members only uh comment probably today well i'll put it up on on youtube on the community feed <clears throat> for members so if you are a member or a patron on, on patreon we do have the superheroes of walter's world facebook group uh where we share stories and <clears throat> all so, the travelers share stuff to so. get onto that please email us your email address just message it to us um no nope, no that doesn't it work that way. way no you don't do it that way you can't do it that no, way no yeah you can't do it that way oh. uh so jason Sorry. there'll be a there'll be a thing um on the community pet tab <clears throat> there'll be a just for um just for members, and you, you write on there. Patrons, when you when you sign up on Patreon, uh, you, we have another way we go through oh, that. So sorry, that. got you mixed up. Um, Xavier says happy birthday, and I'm glad we could you. reach you. Thank, thank you. And, and for those of you that have asked a lot of questions, we haven't gotten to everybody's stuff. It kind of goes by, so I'm sorry. There's a couple to I want to answer real quick. First of all, Marie McInnes made uh, my mousse de maracuja. Oh, cool. This she got it out today. She got it out of the fridge today, so that was pretty cool. Um, and it looked really beautiful. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I do. That's my favorite. Um, actually, my our, Mark's Brazilian mom made me a uh, mousse de maracujá cake when I was when we were in Brazil near my birthday a few years ago. Oh my gosh, it was heavenly. I don't even like cake, and I could eat that every day of my life. Um, Catherine says, did you visit Tikal on a day trip from Belize? Brief description of your itinerary, only because it's so far from Key Colker. How much travel time? Thanks. Happy birthday, Jocelyn. Thank you, Catherine. Um, so no, when we got to Belize, we went straight up and we stayed um, really close to the Guatemalan border and we hired a guide and he, what Mark? San Pedro. San Pedro, that's where we stayed. Um, anyway, it's, it's really close to the Guatemalan border. And so we took a tour and went up um, uh, to Tikal and it was just a day tip trip but we were staying up there we stayed two nights three nights I don't know three. we kind of bombed around that area and just explored ourselves too a little bit um, and then we went down and we went to Key Culker um, for a few days so uh, we actually stayed up north because I don't think that you could do it from Key Culker in a day that would be insane I mean you'd get there and you'd literally like you'd have to turn around but you can do, there are some day trips to see some other Mayan ruins in Belize when you are in Kikulka, it's just kind of tough. <laughs> Tyler, cool guy, wants to know when we're gonna travel on a plane again, hopefully this fall. That's all of our, all of our flights for the summer have been canceled. <laughs> so I don't have anything going on right now. Heather, I've not been to Lanai, sadly. Um, oh, yay. Marie loved the Musa Maracuja. Um, Nick said it's quite controversial. He said that Amsterdam would be one of his most um, overrated cities in in uh, Europe because it didn't feel very Dutch. 
you know what, I get that. And we feel that way about a lot of, um, not all, but you kind of have to sometimes search for that Dutchness or Germanness or whatever the city may be. So that's why you got to get out of it. Yeah. and Like Utrecht and Harlem outside of Amsterdam, yeah, Delft. Leiden, Delft, yeah. Um, there's, like, a, there's more stuff in smaller towns that is, you know, I mean, that's what happens in big cities. They become, look at London. I, I felt like when we were in London last time, there were there were as many, like, international restaurants as there were English pubs. Yeah. I mean, it was... Well, yeah, London's you know. probably the most international city in the world, so... So yeah. that's why that's why I always tell people, like, look, get out and go explore and right. have a good time with that. Yeah. Let's see. I always feel that way about Berlin. Like, Berlin doesn't feel German to me hardly at all. No, I mean, I lived there, and it does not feel German. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> um... So, uh, Wonder Joy, Wonder Joy, I was hoping to go to Canada in the fall. Uh, there's still going to be issues getting to Canada. In the fall, we don't know yet. Because um, right now, you're getting, like, basically a month out ideas on things. So, ask in, in August. I'm, I'm going to get say it's probably your best. Oh, Habit Master says, happy birthday, Jocelyn. Thank you. And it's my birthday tomorrow. It's her birthday tomorrow, too. Oh, we have. Awesome. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. That's fantastic. Francis Webb wants to know what you're using on your skin. You look great. I, you know what I did? It's love you. and affection from her husband. You know, um, so because when we travel, I often take one of those like $2 masks with me because I swear all the differences in like sun and air and just whatever that your face gets kind of crazy. So I always take one or two of those there because they they pack flat those paper ones that are in a little pouch um so thank you i got a big zit this week though yay <laughs> um but i take those and also I, because we're going to the beach this is a good tip for all of you it is not a bad idea to get one of those great little two dollar ones that is aloe based so when somebody burns you know ten nine times out of ten it's your face your shoulders right so if you have one of those aloe masks, that's a great thing to bring on a beach vacation. So Lee Bridges has a travel tip for Hollywood. Do not take the Star Homes tour. They cannot find real stars. When I was thinner, they used to go by our historic home, point at me, and tell people I was Jennifer Conley. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Yes, Love Mr. It. Blonde. Nevada does have sparse population outside of those. Uh, Vagabani says, I think Naples, Italy is overrated, but I was there during a garbage strike. You know what? Garbage strike or not, I kind of have to agree. I don't love yeah. Naples. No, I always tell when people are going down there, I say, <laughs> look, based in the Sorrento and Mount Picos, do a day mm -hmm. trip up to Naples. Got the castle, the museum there to see, and a few other things. Enjoy, but you want to get out. You want to go stay someplace else when you are there. Let's see. Um, how do you... Uh, Sorry. This person, Fuse, says, I know with COVID being a thing right now, cruises are a big no-no, but how do you feel about cruises as a form of European travel in general? So not in 2020. Um, what do you think? You've done that more than I have. I haven't ever cruised what? in Europe. Cruising, river cruising in Europe oh, or something. They're fine. Um, it's just like, but it's, you have to realize it's like any cruise, you are going to be kind of hurried around. And when you do the cruises, I mean, you have a choice. You can do their tour. Or you can have, and which gives you a little free time at the end, or you have the whole four hours to yourself in that town. Um, and when you're in those cruises, it's like you're at their pace and you got to make sure you know what you want to get out of it. Um, I would say, like I said, with all cruises, even the big cruises, if there's a town you really want to know, there's something you really want to know about, it's really important to you, hi, go online. Like Rick Steves, someone asked me about Rick Steves had great guides. Find their guide for that town, hire them to take you around and get a personal tour so you're not just at the whole big group uh, going through. But they can be fun. My parents have done it. I know a lot of people have done those. Um, so they can be worthwhile. Let's see. Yeah, it means to travel. I didn't love touring either. Yeah, I'm not a really huge fan of that either. Um, let's see. Oh, there was one I wanted to go. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone had a good laugh at our Dutch video. Red is dead. It's so true. They are heat seeking missiles. You are heat seeking missiles on your bikes, man. It is so true. So true. Judy, I also recommend Norwex face, facial, facial cloths. Um, 
for just for washing for um I take the little ones I have like the little anti back ones and I take them on trips with us so I can clean. Um, I love Norwax for like a thousand different reasons, but one is that it's got antimicrobial properties. But what's really awesome is that I'm not throwing away stuff all the time. I feel like that has helped us through COVID. I know that archaeologists, you know, archaeologists go back and they study um, trash piles because it tells you a lot about um, a culture. And I swear, a thousand years from now, they're going to go back and they're going to dig through our trash and they're, they're going to see this line of Clorox wipes for 2020. <laughs> they're going to be like, oh, that's when the COVID struck. Yeah. They'll know it. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Chuck Draper, yes, I agree. Dublin's nice, but if you want to experience Isla, rent a car and drive around. Very true. Joseph Simmons, Iris is actually writing. Iris is writing. Says, hi, Mark and Jocelyn. I'm really enjoying watching Jocelyn's cooking shows. Thank you. Um, oh, dang it. I just, where'd it go? Dang it. Um, well, I'm there. glad you like that. What? Where'd it go? Well, there's, I wonder. Uh, dang it. Well, anyway, there was another question <laughs> after that. Someone was asking about videos on study abroad. Um, if you look up Walter's World Study Abroad, we actually do have videos on like how to choose where to live, how to choose classes, uh, love and hates to study abroad for Europe, love and hates to study abroad for um, Asia. Uh, so we have some things there. I have a video that my students made on advice for short-term study abroad trips. So just search study abroad Walter's World in Google and you might find some of the blogs for it. But also you can find some of the videos on YouTube. So I hope that can help. <clears throat> uh, let's see. All right. Um... Stuart Ross, what is your most common thing you've left behind whilst traveling? Uh, stocking caps and hats. That's I don't know how I forget them all the time. That is where that's the thing I lose the most. I don't. I don't know. I've left mascara behind, which really ticks me off. <laughs> that makes me so mad because it's the last thing I put on and, and then I don't have it and I'm really mad. I'm sorry, baby. Yeah. So Laura says, your travel vlogs are much more genuine. Thank you. I like how you give things you love and hate about each place in an honest review. That's what we try to do because, I don't know, I, I always feel if you know the good and the bad, you're more prepared for what you're going to get and then the bad isn't bad because you know what was going to happen so you're prepared for it so it doesn't ruin your vacation. So I'm, I'm glad that you like that. Thank you so much. Jason's using his new uh, his new tag. Hello. It's exciting that you're in green, isn't it? There you um, go. Boom. Love it. Very oh, cool. Logan was the one asking about study abroad. So, Logan, yeah. Logan, just look up Walter's World Study Abroad and some stuff will pop up. Have you ever been to the flea market in Montgomery? It's just, no. Um, not in Montgomery. We, I love flea markets. Actually, I used to go to flea markets a lot. and um, Especially in the Northeast when we used to go up there. They were cool too. One of my favorites ever, when I was right out of high school, I was dating this guy and his his ma, no, his dad's family was from near Pittsburgh and we went, I went up there with his family and oh my gosh, it was so much fun. His mom and I spent hours and hours and hours um, doing that. It was so great. Hey! Bubba Spartan welcome. has become a helpful traveler. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome to the party, bud. Thanks, buddy. Uh, I will post the thing on the community feed for the members and other members that do not have not been able to join the Facebook group yet. Just make sure you leave a comment on there. Um, when I can get my phone back from Liam, I will post on there so we can do that. Uh, so we got a cool. Thank you very, very much cool. for signing up. You'll enjoy it. We've got a great group of people. Yeah, there's some um, really wonderful people in there. Yeah, very fun. Okay, so Francis Webb, what's the best way to Pompeii from Amalfi Coast once we get there? Of course, the Circum Vesuvia. There's a train that'll drop you off. The train. There's a train stop at Pompeii, <coughs> so you'll be okay there. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Blonde, which city or town had the best worst air? The so worst air was Beijing, Beijing. without even uh, thinking. Yeah, no. But then immediately after that, we we flew from Beijing to Helsinki, and we got into Helsinki, and it was like the sky. We were like, ping. Well, the thing is, we have been so we have been clear. in China for seven weeks. I was teaching there yeah. and teaching in Beijing, and like I'm like, what's wrong with the air? I can't see it. I like know. when we got it to was, Helsinki, it was we just got so to weird. Helsinki. We were just like, ah, it was so beautiful. Um, so Helsinki, I, Iceland had really good air. Yeah, um, yeah. But but Helsinki still, think, still for is a big the one for a big city. Yeah, yeah, that stands out to me. Sure. Let's see. 
Norwex is awesome. <laughs> yeah, love Norwex. You know what I like best? I love Norwex's um, cleaning stuff. They're the di- the clothing detergent. I think it's fantastic. So cool. Okay, so Brian has a question. If you don't have a U.S.-based international phone plan, what's the best sell option when visiting several countries in Europe? Well, now with Europe has the they have a uh, there's no roaming anymore, so you can get a chip when you're there if your phone's unlocked and just get a chip and put it in, and then you can just top up online and just do that. Um, that that's one of the guy do, or you can have it where you just do like the Wi-Fi calling stuff. So you just use your phone as like a like an old iPod. There is that, but you have to have connections. So, Judy says, do you offer side-by-side cooking classes? I need tutoring. I, I don't. Um, I'm not completely against that, though, but except for right now during COVID, the only person <laughs> I'm side-by-side with is my husband and my children. Um, but but her videos, you I, will be doing a lot of tips. So videos I am giving movies. tips. I've got a lot of like really short videos, like literally a minute or less, some of them, um, so that you can kind of learn some good kitchen tips and just understand it. But Judy, hang on, there was something else I want to answer to you. Okay. Judy, don't don't hesitate. If I have I have a page on Facebook too. It's simply Jocelyn. You can go go like the page and then. You can message me through that, and I'm happy to help if you have questions just about how to do things. I really want to do one um, soon about how to organize a kitchen so that it's really functional. Like, one of my girlfriends came. She also had been doing serious quarantining, and she and her husband came, and she walked into my kitchen. She's never been to my house before um, because she lives here, and we live in Illinois and whatever. So she she's like, I everything just makes sense i'm like how did you know where all this goes she goes because you cook and you set up your kitchen like a cook and i can walk in and i can understand where everything you know it makes sense so i want to do something like that for people because sometimes that step is what gets you cooking more than anything else because you've made it easy if you can do things without thinking about it it's that's the thing um, Steph Taylor says, I have disposable gloves in my car. I use them when I get gas or go in to use the bathroom. I remove them once I get in the stall. Put on a new pair before leaving the stall. That is the thing. People, uh, your gloves are the same as your hands if you're not removing them and putting new ones on. Just because if you go to the grocery store and you've got gloves on and you're rubbing your eye, well, it's the same as not having the gloves on because you just rub dry with the dirty gloves. So um, that is a good point, and a lot of people aren't thinking about that. So I just mm-hmm. wanted to bring that out. Purdue is leaving bro- broken hearts behind. Whose hearts you break in? Mm. Must have songs for a Walters Family Road Trip playlist. Wow, you gotta have uh, Thunderstruck. It's a fish. Oh, the orange thing there is, a, yeah, it's a fish hanging from the thing. Uh, but yeah, like AC, like Thunderstruck um, was on there. Oh, Route 66. Route 66, uh, Fish, fish in the Dark. In the dark. Um, uh, I don't know. Any of, well, I've got several Ella Fitzgerald songs and things like that because sometimes I just need that. Oh, um, um, is it? Paradise City or Welcome to Jungle. Yeah. One of those Paradise two has to be on there. Yeah. yeah. That kind of makes me want to bang my head around <laughs> just thinking about it. No, there are a lot of, we have a, we have a big list. Oh. Um, yeah. A lot of them have to do with cars and driving, like crews from Florida Georgia Line. Yeah. Yeah. Oop. So, Laura wants to know, what countries do you recommend for living as an American expat for several years? Um, whenever you want to go be an expat and live abroad, I always talk to people, it's kind of like with study abroad. It's like, look, do you want to immerse yourself in the culture and like go native or do you want to just hang out with other expats? Because there's some places that are great, like Hong Kong and Singapore are fantastic for expats, but you only hang out with other expats. But then there's places like like Portugal and, and you know, Spain where a lot of expats can go and, and meet and, and like, yes, yeah, some of them stay together, but it's easier to integrate with the locals. Um, so there's that. Some people like Costa Rica. Um, there's, there's. I mean, I always kind of think of this. If there's a place you'd really wanted to live, go try that one out. So. Um, they. Oh, Fat Sammy Slice. Love the channel, guys. Thanks. That's Thank a great name. Amrita that. Banerjee says Tanzania is open to America. Oh my gosh. 
So we were going through Caleb last night. He's like, hey, Mom, do you have a picture of me with that little girl that we met last year, you know, at the, with the Datoga tribe? And I was like, I do. And and I gave it to him, you know, whatever. And uh, we were all, we. Re- he's like, you know, I really miss traveling. I miss meeting new people and just, I just miss knowing new people. And I was like, oh, you just broke my heart. It's so sad. But we had this. This sweet little girl, she must have been like two or three years old. Yeah, and she just dragged the boys around everywhere. God. Her face, it was just this, this smile from ear to ear, and she never, she never stopped. She'd like hold on one hand, she'd grab the other one's hand, and she just, oh my gosh, it was it was the coolest thing ever. So cool. So, Shannon West, hi, I've been watching you for a few years. Thank you very much. Love the channel. Thank you. I'm hoping to go to Finland once this whole COVID thing is over. Any tips for visiting that you haven't covered in Finland videos? Um, I would say if you're going to go, it's going to be a super relaxing trip when you go. Um, if you can go on the archipelago, ar- archipelago, archipelago, archipelago. archipelago of uh, outside of Tulku, <coughs> going towards Oland, and you can get like an island there with your own sauna and just like chillax there. Oh, That's the best yeah. thing. That, like, Why actually, don't we do that? I mean, I, I have, I have Finland for next year's <laughs> trip. I've already blocked off five days for Tulku. I love, I love so. Tybee, but... Um... Give me a whole island myself. Yeah, it, it, that's, that's <laughs> totally nice. do this um, whole quarantine thing. I think you can go up in the lake. I mean, it, there's there's lots of, uh, like, summer homes you can go to throughout the country that you can rent and just kind of have, like, a kind of off-the-grid kind of time <clears throat> with your sauna and just relax. And, I mean, that's that's one thing about Finland. You go there, and it's, it's, it's all about relaxing when you go there and being out in nature. Um, Chuck Mo says, I think being stuck at home is underrated, but what do you have, uh, but do you have particular travel advice for introverts? Well, first I want to say one of my friends from high school, um, he's a huge introvert and he had this great meme and it basically it just said, I've been training for this all of my life. <laughs> um, or it said, maybe it said like intro, introverts of the world been training for this our whole lives, whatever. It was really funny. Um, so you know what? If you are an introvert, I think it is better to not do the big cities. You will, like, um, my friend lived in Rome for, what, three years well, while he was a, studying? Master's he got a master's in law and in Rome. And um, he he was just like, he couldn't stand it. But as soon as he would go out to smaller towns, he was much more comfortable. Oh, yeah, he just lit up, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, he would light up. I mean, he was so much happier. So... Think about that. Um, that's probably my best thing for you. And then also renting places that are more standalone so you don't have to have that idle chit chat when you're in hallways and lobbies and things like that. You know, um, <clears throat> my opinion, introverts tend to be very um, like independent travelers. You don't, you don't seek out very much help. Um, and so sometimes being on a standalone thing makes it then you if you're not seeking out the help anyway at least then you don't have other people nosing into your stuff and trying to give you help um so there's that yeah they're not in your business that's it um all right so uh traveling the world says what makes you like lonely planet over rick steves so the maps the maps i can answer that i've been answering that question forever the maps, um, Rick Steve's maps are kind of just like <clears throat> overview, whereas Lonely Planets are like detailed actual maps, not like a hand-drawn sort of thing. Um, Rick Steve's has great guides. He, he, I think he must vet them himself. They're, they're really good. Um, but as far as me traveling on my own, I that we, we both like Lonely Planet for on-the-road kind of things. Um, I like to do... Before we go, I like um, to take the the National Geographic Traveler books. Those are my favorites um, to travel with beforehand because I get a lot of information out of them. I get a lot of history. I get the National Geographic stuff, which is important to me, and then I know it when I get there. So, um, all right. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, and Rita says, we have a, a Swiss trip in September, almost on the verge of getting canceled. Yeah, you know what? Sit and wait on it. See how things go. Um, yeah, we're all there. I, I get it. I mean, if you can go and quarantine for two weeks and stay for another two weeks or whatever, maybe that would be a great thing for you to do. I would love to do that. 
Um, but I don't know that that's possible. So, all right. Uh, Logan says, what's the best amount of time to truly immerse, immerse, your, immerse yourself in a country's culture? I've been recommended from an avid traveler that it's three months, but I wanted your opinion. Um, yeah, it's not something you can do on a trip. It, if you really want to be fully immersed, you need to live there. And I'm going to go a step further and say four months. Three months will do it. You'll really get it. The thing is, you're still on that high of having been there. Like when you first move somewhere, you're on a high for two to three months. And you're like, everything is good and you only see the positive. After about three to four months, you hit the low and you get the real homesickness. Yes, please. But could you make it light? Um, so you get the real homesickness and then you start seeing the underbelly. Um, whether you intend to or not, but you start not seeing everything with rose-colored glasses. So to me, the very best to really get the, and then come back out of that um, low point, I think six months is perfect. Um, I realize that's not something everyone can do. Um, and you can still, that's not saying you can't get a great taste for culture, um, you know, in less amount of time. We certainly, we certainly have um, gotten a really good taste for culture. Like we, I mean, we lived in Beijing for seven weeks. I feel like I, I got a lot of Chinese culture and I understood a lot of things and I have a different viewpoint. Um, you know, that's what travel does. It makes you more open-minded and, and well-rounded because you understand things. So there's that. All right. Um, Riley says, my friends and I want to take a post-grad trip next summer to South Central America. Any recommendations, favorite places? Thinking a couple weeks long, open to both cities and more adventure travel. Um, Peru is really great. Peru is set up to take you, and they are ready for all sorts of stuff. There is adventure. Um, you can go into cities and have not, like, the crazy adventure stuff. Costa Rica, same thing. Um, one that I... Mark would probably tell you Brazil. There's a couple, there's some really amazing things in Brazil, not just Rio and Sao Paulo. Um, but I've been really thinking Coming back on, uh, just two, I, I've been thinking okay. back on our Ecuador trip. and I would probably do Peru. Yeah, I, well, that was my first one. Yeah. Peru, Costa, Brazil, Ecuador. But I'm only putting Ecuador down at the bottom because not many people do it. And maybe that's the reason you should do it. And the thing is, is if you're going to do Ecuador, just know that if you try to do the Galapagos Islands, they're crazy expensive. So that can ruin a post-grad trip real quick. Sawa, have you ever um, considered riding the Orient Express? We have. We talked about that, but dag nabbit, it's expensive. Yeah, we, I've been on the train line that was called the Orient Express, but it wasn't like the fancy Orient Express. Um, it's just beyond, it's out of our price range. So, sadly... Keith Gates, are you considering visiting Taiwan? Yes, Taiwan was part of <clears throat> next year's kind of tour thing, which has now all gone up in the air because... Everything's in the air. Yeah. Because one of the things we thought was like New Zealand, Australia, then come up, you know, with Taiwan, Philippines, and then South Korea, and like the all kinds of other stuff we're looking at. And, oh, Kathy says, I'd love to do the Orient Express. Oh, well, Kathy. Well, good, you can pay for I'll, it. I'll go with you if you need, if you yeah, need a right. chaperone. I'll go. Be girls trip girls trip not you no no it's it's a it's a mother son trip we need we need time to bond our our mother son trip got canceled this year we were going to go to uh, germany and france to see where some of our ancestors were from and sadly with the news we talked about earlier we can't go so <clears throat> lisa's <clears throat> the the air quality in los angeles has been is at the best it's been for generations i tell you what i remember flying into la when i was a kid and i was like that's true Oh crap! There's like nothing but gray in this sky. I was like, "What is that?" Um, because every other time I had, as a kid, I had gone in, and we drove, and it was it. I just thought it was clouds. I didn't, you know, as a child, you don't think about that. But um, yeah, when we flew in when I was a kid, I was like, "Whoa, that's crazy." So David Conti, of all the scandinavian cities, you didn't find Copenhagen have the best air, no. But I mean, I was there in the spring. Well, I've been in the spring and summer and fall, but I'm thinking about the last time I was, I just found Finland's to be a little bit better. It's not like Copenhagen was bad. Like, I'm not saying it was bad, so that's not an issue. Um, I just thought that one was better. So, let's see. 
Tavi, yes, been to Argentina many times. I was an exchange student there in college. Um, and then I went back again to study again and just br brush up my Spanish. And I went back again and took the family. So I've been a couple times, or more than a couple times. And um, someone says it's cheaper to use whites than gloves. You're right. Um, I actually, we have some gloves. We have a few, but not very many um, that were just like some friends or whatever. So, um, yes. So Lynn good. Stevens says, which non-major cities in Spain do you like? Ronda is really nice. I like Ronda. Valencia. Valencia. Well, Valencia, is a, uh, is, Valencia is a major city. Is it? Yes, Valencia is a major city. But like Ronda's nice. Um, Cadiz, if you're looking, if you're down in the coast del Sol, that's that's nice. Granada. Um, Granada, but that's I mean it's kind of a bigger tourist place. Um, where else? Santiago de Compostela was nice if you're going to go for the if you're the one to do the Camino de Santiago. Uh, that was cool. Salamanca was nice. There's a lot of like smaller, like medium and smaller sized cities you can go and have a good time when you're there. What tequila's in your margaritas? Um, Woodford, <laughs> Woodford whiskey is in my tequila today. Sorry. Uh, we all need Jody's like, we all need another tequila. Bye now. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, P.S. Shut up, Mark. Oh. Treat. Do we do that on, on Mondays? Excuse me. I don't know. I just hadn't said it, so I thought I'd throw it out there. Oh, Stuart, Stuart Ross, I have I, some I have I some Pink Floyd, Floyd on my we playlist too. too. Um, actually, when I used to live in Finland, <laughs> there was a jukebox in the bar I used to always go to, and they had Division Bell uh, by Pink Floyd, and they had Division Bell and High Hopes, which were like eight minute long songs. And usually, if you put songs in, I mean, this is the back in the achy breaky hard days. You know, you had the two or three minute long song. Like, wait, for my dollar a song or whatever, why pay for? I could have eight minutes of music and I could put two dollars in and have 16 music minutes of my music and so I would listen to that all the time. <laughs> Michael, Kathy is Mark's mom and my mother-in-law. Oh, hi little nugget. Um, I bought some really cool reusable wipes. Oh, um, Brazil, Vivian in New York. Adoro seus vídeos. Obrigado, meu amigo. Estou feliz que gosta. I am. Um, Why is it, okay, so Chuck Draper, why is the word tourist treated like a dirty word? I love being a tourist. I think the I think the connotation because the ugly tourist kind of came over and so people started looking up, trying to, you know, we, we, that's why we say fellow travelers and stuff because some people are like, I don't want to be well, a tourist. People but it's think okay there's a tourist. difference between a tourist and a traveler in that tourists tend to be passing through, passing through um, and just hitting like icing. I see you back there, you little nugget. Um, <gasps> where'd these come from? The fridge. Are these for my birthday? Thanks, Liam. <laughs> but I thought you were just buying them. You're welcome, babe. I, the only thing, the only thing I could find this for her birthday cake. is her is that. So. Can I have one? <clears throat> Mr. Ash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hitting text 26. Where you been? Yeah, I haven't right? seen you forever. Seen Good to see you. That's nice to oh. this. Oh, Segovia. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and so <laughs> Frost Element says, hey, why is this happening on Monday? I'm drinking heavily trying to catch up. <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> well, because Wednesday night we'll be on our way home and we won't have internet, so... And Joss's birthday is tomorrow, so I figured, you know what? We all need to celebrate together and say happy birthday to this beautiful, wonderful, amazing, spectacular, beautiful, cool, Thanks, Daddy. intelligent. You know it's what? It's midnight here. It's not midnight here, so. Is it? So is that? Mm. I love I love how Terry Finley's uh, comment on on uh, Reese's peanut butter cups got blocked by Google. <laughs> It's amazing what gets through. Buy two, get one free at our Kroger. What? How is that bad? I know. See, it's because YouTube wants to keep them all to itself. Hi, Henry. Oh, Henry son? Mm -hmm. Cool. What's up, buddy? Steve Winwood. Yes. Mm. Mm. This would be nice. the best year. Eric B is with me on the Reese's. Yeah. Right behind the Twix, but Reese's are my jam. Terry says hi, Liam. Hello. Hello. Hi, Aunt Barb. Thank you for my birthday wishes. I love you. Oh. Isn't that cool? Aunt Hi, Barb. Barb. Liam, my yeah. Aunt Barb. 
Awesome. Marie had two of those packages today. Good job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> two of the four packs? That's a lot. No, it's not. Nah. Mm. Do you call them Reese's Cups? Reese's Cups or Reese's Cups or Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? I say Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Uh-huh. Or just Reese's. Yeah. Um, what? my my husband bought me so many eggs. Reese's eggs are my favorites. And so I have two more Reese's eggs stashed at home to have when I get home for my birthday. And then I found some for her. So, mm -hmm. so Brasileiro, Vivendo in New York, I watched some of your videos on, of when you teach international business and it helped my, with my college classes. Thanks for the good information. Hey, awesome. I'm, I'm really glad I could help out. I mean, my, I'm glad that Professor Walter's channel can help out other people learning and stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Oh, Ash. No, 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 no movies right now. Basta, you have, wait, you have to wait a while, buddy. You oh. see, we, we don't have the interwebs so well. You need to get the fresh from the factory Reese's Cups. Steph, tell Whoa. me how, how do I get those? I, I don't know what those are. Like, fresh from the factory. I see a family road trip. Actually, you'll just go without us. You know what, people? If I'm on this tomorrow and Jocelyn's disappeared, we know where she's gone. At Reese's Factory. Um, I would, I would probably just stay there for everyone. That would be a thing, right? So, Jeremy Hodge, everything's real, but do you think it's safe to travel to Hong Kong? Hong Kong has got some serious issues right now. Um, I don't, I don't, I would not feel comfortable right now going um, with all this stuff, the crackdowns happening and stuff. So. I would, uh, I would definitely rethink, like me personally at least. Derek eats Reese's sugar-free peanut butter cups, like. Sugar -free oh no, they're not Reese's. Reese's. There's that fake one they put on the side. <clears throat> no, I mean, in all the sugars, I do, I do my monk fruit extract in everything, and y'all don't have any. No, idea, yeah, monk, so you no, can yeah, do it. If, yeah, if they have monk fruit. That's not bad. That's actually, mm -hmm. I actually like monk fruit. I, actually, because monk fruit's another one of those extracts that sweetener, but it doesn't have the weird aftertaste like yeah. stevia or the other ones do. It's like nice. Um, okay, so hitting tax. Mark also has an ant barb, so we refer. It's like my ant barb, your ant barb. We say it all the time. It's hilarious. And oh, um, oh. Brian Smith. Baby just got baby got the baby <laughs> to sleep. Baby Lab is on there. Keep it down. Sorry. And, and, and hitting text twenty six. I don't know like how you switch going back to that. So that would make sense. So it's like because I hadn't seen your hitting text twenty six for I don't know. Hey Liam, a couple can years? you grab me that bag right over there? Let's see. Um, hang on. And then um, Megan Morris wants to know if I'm getting a Japanese toilet for my birthday. No, I, I, I tell you, I tell you what. If we ever get a new house, bring that to me. I please. will let you. You can yes. you can have one. It'll be totally fine. Okay, thank you. So Brian, we're on our last bag. We brought him with us on the trip. <laughs> so, and they make an appearance on the things you need to eat on a road trip. Because they're so good for a road trip. Let's see. Oh, they're, they're gone now. Mark Finley's. Thank you, Mark Finley, for it. being an awesome moderator yeah. helping us out here. Let's see. Steph Taylor, three times a year Hershey Factory. Nope. Three times a year, Hershey has a deal where they ship you fresh from the factory Reese's. You have to sign up for the mail list. They're so fresh that there's still oil from the peanut butter on the wrapper. I am so getting that. Hang on, where's my phone? This is high priority. And then you can sign me up as well. <laughs> oh, answer Chris's because our neighbors have their up. Chris Frankie, Jess, I noticed this morning on my walk the there's an apartment still their Christmas decorations on their balcony. So I pointed out, as did the boys, that the house across the street from us where we're staying still has their Christmas tree up in their house with the lights on. So I think we could make it go longer. Maybe next year it could be for July 4th we take down the tree. So there is other things out there. Oh, we got a couple of super chats that came through. Thank you so much. Douglas, thank you very much for the super chat. Introverts looking for good air equal Finland has great air. I 100% agree with that. And no one will talk to you. Yes, that is so true. Like the Finns, if you talk to them, they will gladly talk, but they will not in, like start the conversation. But if you ask some questions, yeah, that dude, that is Douglas. You, that is a spot on recommendations, my friend. That is awesome. And thank you very much for the super chat. That is so cool of you. Thank you. Oh, Henry Martinez, a super chat as well. Thanks, buddy. I got on late. Happy birthday, Jocelyn. Thank you. Feliz cumpleaños. 
Are you guys uh, on yes. a road trip, road trip in the Midwest? I also would love to go someplace far too. So Henry, we drove from Illinois down to Georgia last week and we're heading back tomorrow, the next day, no, the next day. So, uh, mm -hmm. so we, we came down and just hopped in the car. We tried to do it all in one day. Um, but it got to be too much, so we ended up stopping. And we actually filmed a video. We did our hotel. We finally did our hotel video, uh, so you can see. So we have actual video in a hotel we actually stayed in to talk about that. We did a, a vlog of our whole thing down because people asked about that. So I'm trying to put those together. So those will hope. Like I think the hotel one will be on a, will be Wednesday's video, and then on the weekend we'll have the vlog for the Fourth of July to see what it's like driving around. It was pretty much the same all the other times. And the farther we went south, the less masks we saw. Uh, we we had our masks and stuff, and you know, did everything we could to stay safe. So we did that. Um, she, Purdue says Cheetos from the line are so totally different than in a bag. I used to be a quality supervisor. So what are they like? What am I missing? Because I really like Cheetos too. Yeah. As actually, I was telling the kids on our road trip when I was in high school and I worked for my dad. After school every day, I would go. To the dealership to start filing and doing all the work I did back in the whatever it was an awful job. Um, anyway, I would go to to the um, machines and I would get a pack of two Reese's cups, a little bag of uh, Cheetos, and um, a Mountain Dew. Because you know when you're 16 and you weigh 85 pounds, you can eat like that every day. But you can't really do that anymore. Oh, Catherine says you can make the Reese's eggs too. There's always a recipe circulating on the social medias around Easter. Dun dun dun! And that was Liam dancing really around back possible? there. Is that really possible? Yeah, it won't be the same though. I don't know. I don't know if that's really that's really possible. Hey, Liam, can you turn that down? Because that is the most annoying video game ever. This, <laughs> oh, Casino Casino, Casino Snoopy. Snoopy says I live in the town where Bucky started. This, the owner still lives here. That's really cool. Very very cool. Mr. Blonde, every Georgian loves peanuts. Every Georgian loves boiled peanuts. We actually have some leftovers in our fridge. Even the one Georgian president, Jimmy Carter, that's right, had a peanut farm. That's true. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Still, I think he still does. Uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. Hey, Elwood. Hey, good to Elwood. see you. Good to see you here, buddy. Nice to see you. Let's um, see. King Lady says, hey, Walters, what season is your favorite to travel? What a cutie dance in the background. That was Liam dance in the background. Mine is spring or fall. Yeah, spring or fall because you still have nice weather and you don't have anywhere near the crowds and you have a lot lower prices. And I don't melt when I walk around. Uh, Benson, Ben, thank you very much. Um, I had lost 50 pounds, then COVID came, so it's not quite 50 pounds anymore. But getting back in the groove, started exercising again. I've been Before we came on this trip, I had swam because our, our, there's a swim pool by us that you can reserve a lap lane. And so I've been going for an hour uh, swimming laps um, every day for the two weeks and so I'm getting getting back in the groove so hopefully when all this is over we can travel again I'll be fit and trim and almost as sexy as her going around so Mr. Ash says, thank you for the uh, super chat <laughs> thank you Lee Bridges for the information <laughs> oh dag nab it Looks like right here. I just dropped the whole bunch I don't know, Lee Bridges, Mr. Ash, Los Angeles is having a very serious community transmission outbreak. If you come, I'd say heavily mask and watch your distances. Yes. And I would You're say. doing that anyway. Yeah, you should do that anywhere in the U.S., um, especially in the big, bigger cities. In, the, in warmer weather, it seems like you got to be careful. Um, but we, like, we have masks, we have um, wipes, we have the sanitizer, we have all the stuff. Like today, when I went to go to the store to pick up some waters, I mean, I had my mask, I had wipes in one pocket, I had the sanitizer stuff in the other pocket. So, like, we're, we're trying to take as much caution as we can. Um, so there is that, so cool. So thank you, Mr. Ash, and thank you, Lee Bridges, for helping out, that's really nice. And that's one thing I really love, is like, the questions we can't answer sometimes we don't get to in time. Y'all on here are doing so great helping out. That's one thing I love about this group. You all are just awesome, so thank you so much We for love that. the people that follow us because you're a great community. It's, you know, you're positive, and um, we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Rally Creative Travel. Good to see you on here. Oh, <coughs> Lee hey, Bridges. Lee Riley's is, right. Liam, what's the name of your game? Rally's right around here. Um, We're on Tybee. Um, Steph put the link up. I don't know if it'll show up. Brownie took. Uh, 
I didn't see it come up, Steph, but I have, I pulled up Gypsies on my phone, so I'll remember to go and look at that. Um, and Meltdown and World. Kalardia yes. says, um, and you always have good questions, are hostels going away? No. No. They're not going anywhere. They, 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 they have boomed the last 10, 15 years, excuse me, they've, they've, re, they've, re, they've had a rebirth. Because and they have boomed um, for for people our age. Yeah, like it's not just for it's not just for you know twenty year olds and, and college kids. It's not for anybody. Please and now there's like um, you know family Thank rooms you. and stuff. So they've come a lot better. And it's funny because like how hostels were that I found in South America back in the day, where I was like, man, these are nice and they had your own rooms and it's clean and stuff like that, it was so different than my experience of doing the hostels in Europe, which were like grimy and gross. And now the ones in Europe become. Really, it's pretty nice, especially in places like Lisbon, where actually the hostels are better than a lot of the hotels. Let's see. Francis visited the Cheetos factory many years ago. They let us sample the Cheetos before the cheese went on it. They tasted like styrofoam. <laughs> oh, oh, Blaine, I didn't know you had a live stream. I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't even know that at all. Which one? Um, Blaine, Riley, Riley Creative. Oh. Um. Cool. Um, oh, so we are in we are on Tybee Island in Georgia, so that's where we are. M MTN VR. Um, when you come to Texas, the Bluebell Factory is cool. So says Mark Finley. Um, that would be Bluebell. Is that ice cream? Right. Yeah, that's the one that the people took. They they were licking it. People were licking it. Yeah, oh god, you don't follow the interwebs very much. I, do I don't, y'all. I, I live in a hole. So you Thomas Reiser, what do you what you're thinking about Alaska? We'd go we want to go up there. Um the cruise thing is the only issue right now, but I would definitely go up there for that. Um September used to be the best time to go because it was the cheapest, but now people have figured out that's when they could go and there won't be like any families. So there is that. Mark Smith says lobsters are now two dollars a pound in Maine, but you have to pick them up at the dock. Well, let me tell you something. I can't go to Maine, so you pick them up at the dock and you ship them to me. I'm joking, but um, two dollars a pound for lobsters—that's holy crazy. crap. Yeah, Brian Smith, floor nuggets. <laughs> yeah, floor nuggets. Um, so Thomas, I actually ordered um a book from Travel Alaska or whatever. It wasn't nearly what I thought it was going to be. Most of the time, when I get them, they're they're quite thick, and it was kind of like magazine it was like a small magazine usually it's like a bigger magazine or it's a small thicker book and this was sort of i was surprised at how thin it was that's all yeah so dave thomas as a professor do you have any tips for improving your writing skills my writing skills are horrible lately because it like it was like once i finished my phd i and all the technical writing i had to do for the like a few papers i wrote after that like my good writing skills kind of went out the wall the window but what I find works best is really to outline all the stuff you want to say. So I will actually like kind of like get all the points in there, then expand the points out um, and go from there. I also write that way in in a format. Yeah. Yep. Mr. Blonde, is there a presidential museum for Lincoln in Illinois? Yes, it's in Springfield, Springfield. Illinois. Yeah, it's very good. It's one of the best presidential libraries out there. Mm -hmm. it's, and it's new. It's like maybe 15 years old. Uh, it is. It's It's well worth a visit. Also on Route 66, so you can stop by there. Also, Springfield has the Horseshoe and the birthplace of the one of the birthplace of the corn dog. Thank you, Salman. Um, oh, we just had a jump there. Yep. Oh, Def Leopard Rules Rock is on here somewhere. Oh, hey, Def Leopard Rules Rock. Because I always mess it up. Oh, there, there it is. So, hey, sorry. Def Leopard Rules Rock, thank you very much for the super chat. Hawaii will be reopened just in time for I'm scheduled to go with the requirement of a negative COVID test result. Yay! With the assumption that I test negative, do you think it will be safe to go? I think it'll be safe to go there as pretty much anywhere else you go in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, still, still, and I would say make sure you bring your own stuff because for those of you who don't know, this, the, the TSA is letting you bring up to, I think, 12 ounces a 12 ounce pump thing of hand sanitizer with you on the plane. So make sure you're bringing your, can you bring the Make sure you have your wipes, you have a couple masks. See, I got some of these like 20 things, so I just put in the side pocket of my bag so I can wipe stuff down whenever I want um, or whenever I need. So make sure you kind of like pack yourself up 
Like when we came down here, we packed the car up for in case we can't get anything. So we had wipes, we had masks. I think we had what, like ten masks with us, something like that. Um, no, we had eight. We had eight two masks. for each of us, okay. just in case. Um, so we, but some so of them are so, like so. You weren't like our Airbnb <clears throat> host here, the RBO host. No, and we enough. had some masks that are. We have good masks, and then we have just like really thin hand sewn cotton ones that aren't as awesome. And those are our sort of backup. Um, so travel adventures with Eric, Eric B. B. Hey, also, buddy. Um, Eric has just started um, adding his stuff channel. to his channel. So um, very cool. And he is a really nice guy. He is. Um, and he has just got some things up. So if y'all want to check that out, um, please do so. Stuart so. Ross says, Warren, don't leave hand sanitizers in a hot car. It can catch fire. My goodness, how it hot can. is your car? No, actually, and you really? can't. So here's the other thing about hand sanitizer. If it catches fire, it's alcohol, you can't see it burn. So there's actually like fire, but you can't see the flame, but you like it's there. You could stick a piece of paper on it and yeah, because alcohol burns without like a flame. Learn something <clears throat> new every day. So this is why our people are the awesomest, because we are learning. Lee Bridges says we did a tour of the Taylor guitar workshop. No Ooh, free cool. guitars, alas, but they gave us free wood circle Taylor guitar cutouts which we still use as coasters that's cool that's interesting we mark and caleb did one at dean guitars in uh tampa no free guitars there though no sadly no. sexy then... guitars just not for... no oh no <laughs> it's my birthday thing <laughs> that would be you are joking there. Just gonna try to eat it. Uh, hey i want to give a cheers to defiance not because of thinking with the super chat but because Pass their PhD defense. Yay! Thanks for the tip. Fortunately, I did not need to worry about tight pants as the event was virtual. <laughs> Amen to that. Congratulations. Congratulations, Doctor. Here's my drink. Doctor Defiance. We're proud of you. I know what that's like. Oh, that is so awesome. good. Ow, what the heck was that? Still hitting with Laffy Taffy. Um, Wait, isn't there one that's already open? Jaycation says, Hi, Mark yeah, Johnson, long time open. viewer. Yeah, Decided to finally drop in, in in a comment and say hello. I've been watching your live streams from start to finish since lockdown began. Well, welcome to it. I'm glad you actually popped in and Aww, said hello in real you. life. Thank you. Thanks, Jaycation. <clears throat> um, very cool. Da, 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 da. I've been to LBJ in Austin, too. Ooh, that was sorry. a good one. Um, <laughs> I like Mark Smith. So did you wear pants? <laughs> uh did you know the oldest oh, World War funny. II is 110 years old? That's yeah, still alive, yeah. That's pretty amazing. Let's see. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, moving on. Traveling by car with dog in Cal or in Canada or California. California. By state laws, bystanders think your dog is suffocating. They can break your window. Take dog with you and or park in the shade with windows rolled down. Way, way down. Yeah. We never leave the dog in the car. We take no, him in with yeah, us. He's a spoiled brat dog. Yeah. He is so spoiled. Um, since uh, Quilardia said, oh, shoot. Oh, there it goes. Since eating and drinking with locals is one of the best experiences you can get traveling, how do you go about avoiding tourist traps and finding those experiences? Walk wherever there's a tourist place, like, um, you know, the Coliseum. Walk at least three blocks away. Get a little get a little lost. Go go to a street where you don't hear um, other languages, like where, where you're mainly just hearing the language of whatever place you're in. That would be my my best thing, right? Just get away from there. Yeah. So Eric B wants them. to know what your plans are for tomorrow. Um, Eric. So tomorrow I'm kind of hoping to make tea and go sit outside and watch some dolphins swim by. That would be um, sort of my perfect. Um, we're going to very far social distance with a good friend of ours and um, who is elderly and we need to stay away from, but we, we just want to lay eyes on him and let him know we are here and we love him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my one of my very best friends who actually came up to, to um, Champagne. Champagne last week and helped me make 45 cocktail videos. 42 cocktail videos plus no, 10 Mark, tip videos. 45 cocktail videos, seven tip videos, and three, no, two, um, like, tools and glasses. 
That's what it was. We made a boatload. Anyway, she is going to make me dinner. So, or us, my family. So we're going to go and hang out and that will be nice. Your dog reminds me of Spike from Rugrats. Yes, he is. Because he's like, oh, you were going to give me that, weren't you? It's pretty funny. Uh, all Let's right, see. So... Good night, Erwin. I'm just hoping you haven't Good missed night. you. I'm glad you got to come and see us for a minute. And we got to see you for a minute. Except we don't really see you guys. So, Finn Finn wants to know, have you ever been to Winslow? And were you disappointed? And also, have you been to Wickenburg? I haven't been to Wickenburg. Uh, we have been to Winslow, Winslow Arizona. Don't yeah. forget. Yeah. I understand. Yes. No, I like I went the, the song like, the song really did <clears throat> help it out. It makes out. you think that there's a it's cute. There there are some cute little kitschy like western shops and things like that. So yeah. Good night, Stuart, or good morning, Stuart. Uh, good, stay you stay safe too, buddy. Uh oh, let's see. Mark says I Mark Smith, not Mark Walters. Mark Smith says I avoid anywhere Rick Steve's <laughs> Well, it's, there's the Rick Steve co- effect. He covers the good stuff, well, it's right? Kind of like, it, well, I can look at this one. There's the Rick Steve's effect. There's the Anthony Bourdain effect. There's the Driner's Dive Bins and Dives effect where everyone goes to that one restaurant and they order that one dish and that's it. And I, when I take my students to Europe, or, you know, we always take them there, is the students, are they've watched all the, you know, the Anthony Bourdain stuff. They're like, yeah. this is the restaurant we're going to and this is what we're going to eat. Like, and they have, like, the all 10 of eat. their evening meals already planned, exactly what they're going to have. I'm like... There's more stuff you can see. Like, there's a great restaurant across the street. No, we only go to this one. And and that's why, you know, people, we actually get, like, really mean comments sometimes because we never tell what restaurants to go to. We just talk about the food you should have when you're in a country or a city because then you can go and explore on your own. Uh, yeah. So it's I it's think it's important for you to find it yourself. Just find the good stuff. Uh, Purdue says, has anyone else's uh, town city had people shooting off loud boom fireworks for, like, over a month? Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know what was going on in Champaign. What's well, that? there's all things out there. Can you have it? Oh, it's a thing? Yes. Yeah, I never know things. I just don't know things. I never do. Um, good night, Steph. Thank you for the information on um, Fresh from the Factory. So, yes, please do remind me of it later. Um, Wickenburg is much more genuine with Western experience that I would recommend. Um, well, I lived um, all over all over uh well no i didn't all over i lived in tucson for a long time and i have been all over arizona and the southwest and yeah i'm good hey chandler bing well chandler's in the house yep. what's up nice to see you back it's been a minute um all right so number g says i didn't realize rick steves had the same reach as bourdain it's different people Different people, different, different thing. Rick Steve's been doing this since the 80s, and Bourdain had about a 10 year window, so it's a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Yes, Mike Peace, I have had Buffalo Trace Kentucky bourbon, it is quite good. What are you laughing? Keystone <laughs> control uncomfortable farts yeah. gas on a 13 hour flight. I go to the restroom. And take care Don't of business. Don't eat crappy food before you get on the plane. Yeah, drink drink a lot of water. Um, if you have some gas X or something like that, we'll take that. Take gas X, but some people just get it from the pressure, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe charcoal pills. Talk to your doctor. We're not. Talk to your doctor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We miss Bourdain, too. Number I've two. actually not been to Wickenburg. So, Cider Hedgehog, hello. This is my second time to join your live stream. Thank you for joining okay. us. Nice to what see did you. you think? Or what did you think when you visited Tokyo? It was super clean. <laughs> the people were super friendly, but you did not exist. Like they just went by their way, but they were super friendly when they were would talk with you. There's a lot of people everywhere. Thank goodness that they have all the plastic food because then you know what you're ordering because you just point at it and do that. So it is fun. Uh, Claudia, answer that because I can't. Claudia, is it acceptable professionally to ask for unpaid leave of absence to travel for personal growth? Yeah, some actually some companies these days actually give you that opportunity to do that. Um, I know the lady I worked with at Google, um, she's had a month off. They're like, oh, they did, right, I'm just leaving for a month. Do whatever I want. I'll talk to you when I get back. I'm like, oh, okay. So, let's see. Um, hi, Michael Mon. Oh, Michael Mon's in the house. Mm-hmm. 
Hopefully someone got a little something in the mail. Um, Henry Martinez, thank you for the super chat, my friend. What are the chances of you guys going on a road trip to California, Oregon this summer? What's the farthest you guys have driven in North America? So I don't think we'll get to California, Oregon this summer. Um, I think we'll do kind of a Midwest, North road trip. Mm -hmm. And that's probably what we're going to do this summer after this one. <clears throat> Just because it's been crazy going so, on this road trip. But our longest the one. The other thing is I don't, I don't drive the Rockies. Yeah, she doesn't like that, and she won't let me drive it because she trusts my driving less than hers. No, that's a that's a flyover thing. Yeah. yeah. And so, the, our longest road trip was five thousand miles. Yeah, we went from Illinois to Florida to Prince Edward Island to Toronto to Niagara Falls, then back to Illinois, mm -hmm. and it was like five thousand miles. If you watch our five love and hates of road trips, um, that this actually goes through and counts the miles as we go, so you can check that one out. Let's see. Um, what else? Ooh, just a huge jump. Big Lots of hi, Michael Mons. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Smith, we drove in Japan, got lost a lot. Yeah, we, we do get lost a lot when that happens. Um, Michael's on a little trip. Oh, cool. Yeah. In Seattle, I think he said. So, right. I, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. So, let's see. Oh, wow. Lee Bridges. My father had to beg three months off from his law firm to sum summit the highest mountain in Antarctica. Boss replied, oh, that old excuse again? <laughs> what an ass. <laughs> what a great boss. Yeah, right. Sounds like something, yeah. Uh, anyway, Ryan, Ryan asked, hey, guys, what got you into traveling in the first place? Um, I remember. I always did it as a kid. It's always been in we my blood. I never traveled when I was a kid. Never. Um, it was when I studied abroad in Australia in high school. It kind of like something clicked, and I just kept traveling and never stopped. So, yeah. Who? So Rusty was talking about this before. That's that right, Rusty. You were talking about it. My wife and I are turning a minivan into a camper. Is there anywhere in the U.S. that you have not had the chance to visit yet, but want to? I, I like to get out to Oregon. I mean, that's the thing. Like Henry was talking about. Like I like to get out to Oregon. Um, I wouldn't mind doing like when you're heading out, like uh, Yellowstone. And, and um, Grand Tetons, those Grand kind of Tetons. things. Oh. So. <clears throat> Lee asks, um, Prince Edward Island, is it an overly touristy Anne of Green Gables shine or is a shrine? Or is it worth a visit? So it's worth a visit. Sure. I think it's I think it's totally worth a visit. Um, yes, there's Green Gables. Um, and that is very touristy, but the rest of the town is not necessarily just it, it's its own thing. The, 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 your pants, no white pants. Yeah, no white pants because they have like clay, like really red orange clay everywhere. So stay away from that. <clears throat> but it is really, it's just, yeah, it's really cool. It's definitely worth a visit. Um, taking 40 through the lower Rockies is not bad. Driven it many times. Coogie, you keep doing that. I'm not. Because as a kid, we went through, we went to Rocky Mountain National Park, we went to Estes. I mean, we went all over. And um, one year we did it in my dad driving an RV. And I, I just can't, I just can't do it. Um, so let's see. Uh, good evening, Soviet World Out 34. Um, my husband and I drove from LA to Boston and then up to Toronto and back home. Great trip. Would do it again. Super baking mom. You, y'all have cojones. That, that's pretty amazing. That's, that's big. So, um, all right. Let's see. Got a bunch up here that I haven't answered. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I can't keep up. Okay, um, okay, okay, yes, I'm with you there. Um, uh, Susan Murray says Rick Steves likes Velvet under Underground and street food too. Rick is cool, or at least his mother thinks so. <laughs> He's cool, his, his pants aren't, but... You know, yeah, he's done. He's, he's done a lot to make Europe approachable for a lot of people. So. He really has. He's done some really good stuff, and we always talk about how great his guides are. I mean, he's yeah. yeah. His, his network 
They're the ones that are he's he's pretty yeah he's got it together he's created a huge thing um da, 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 da. all right um okay i'm sorry my i just can't my head is i got a bit so Hi, Emperor. Oh, Wendover's production. Yeah, I, Mr. Blonde, I do like Wendover's production. They have some good stuff. Um, Silver Roblox, we're doing well. Uh, so, Glenn Adams, any thoughts about the EU allowing U.S. travelers in Europe this year? Um, probably if we get the numbers back under control, we'll get in there. Um, <laughs> Susan see. Murray says, PEI, all Asian tourists there to prostrate themselves in front of the first place in L.M. Montgomery. That's almost not a joke. Um, I don't she is huge like they love Anne so much and I don't even know if it's like just all of Asia or what because I've heard several different languages when we were there um but yes it's a very big thing yeah all right um Sao Tome or Principi have you traveled to Sao Tome or Principi I have not which one I'm Fin Fin Oh, no, we, I haven't been to South Tony Peninsula either. That's one of the things we were looking at because we're looking at some more Caribbean places to check out since I think you'll be able to travel in the Caribbean much sooner than you'll be able to uh, travel like Europe or something like that, for Americans at least. If you're Canadians, you're, you're good to go wherever you want to go. Rusty's been drinking Gel Jack. Gel Jack, nice, nice. Well, you know, that's usually what we would like to drink. Mm -hmm. but, um, so... And Detrini, I have not seen Magical Andes on Netflix. I'll have to check that mm -hmm. one out. Do you watch Yellow Productions? Yes, you do. Yes, Did you I, already answer that? No. You do like them. Don't yeah, I do like them. them. I thought we were going to do something together once we're back home. Just to do a live feed together. He t his are about 45 minutes. Ours are usually a little bit longer. We're at, what, what do we have now? Two hours now? Because I started a little before early. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Vagabonnie says happy birthday. Thank you, Vagabonnie. Um, <laughs> I like that Lee Bridges. Be careful with the John Steinbeck house in Monterey. <laughs> it's run by one fanatical guy who talks forever and won't let you leave. I've actually been to a few of those things where you're like, dude, I just, I just want to see. That. I don't need the history of their great grandpa's like bowel movements. This is a little bit too much. <laughs> uh, Soviet Warlock was originally from Petrograd. Petrograd. Cool. Very cool during the USSR era. Mark has lived in some. Post well, some USSR era, um, yeah, Lithuania places in Lithuania, so yeah. Max in Northern Ireland and Belfast, cool, thanks for joining up. No rusty, no medieval fairies in our travels. Um, no medieval few... fairs. Oh, I thought it said fairies. <laughs> like, we no, have been to no some fairies. <laughs> That's funny. We have been to some. We used to go to one in Obidus, Portugal, because they would have a chocolate festival too. So I went there, I took a lot of friends when they'd come visit. It was weird because like people usually come right when that festival was, so it's like a common thing to take people to. So there is that. Um, let's see. Mr. Pop, we'll be back in 10 or 30 minutes. Um, we'll probably be on for about 15 minutes more, and then we're going to take off because it's somebody's birthday tomorrow, and she needs to get her beauty rest, as do I. But uh, we just want to get on here to make sure we had some time just to say hi to people. <laughs> like Peter Morgan in Liverpool. Um, who's here? We appreciate it here. Pass <laughs> Looks half her age. Yeah, well, she's only about four months younger than me. So, eight, eight months eight younger. Eight months younger. There is that. Um, Austin Smith Kelly, have you ever done a beach day anywhere in the UK? I, I yes, in Aberdeen. Uh, I did do a couple up there. Um, we let's took see. The, to the beach in Brighton. Yeah. So Thomas Rice is pointing out that I don't think they will be led to Europe until we let them in, because U.S. still has banned Europeans coming in. Um, but the part of there, there's that's part of it. But also it's the number of the COVID cases, which is a holding them back. It's kind of like Chinese tourists are welcome to come back to Europe once China opens up China up to Europeans. So there is that. So. Hello, Peter. Hello, Nathan. Um. <sighs> Mr. Blonde, don't do anything illegal. Not bend at our house. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Mouse, happy birthday. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate it. Hey, Amanda in Ireland. Anyway, 
Um, California beaches are closed for July. Yeah, we the COVID count. Yeah, that's yeah. How it well, is. I think everybody's blown the COVID count these days. So. Yeah. So I'm I'm kind of getting knocked out. I'm All exhausted. Right. Uh, All right. We were at the beach in the sun for a couple hours. I put sunscreen on like four times, and I still got brown. Like I mean, I walked out. Th- it looks a lot lighter in this bright light than it actually is. I got so dark. I just couldn't. Yeah. So, and it knocks, it, it knocks me out. Does anybody else get like that? Think sitting in the sun just makes you tired. It does. Yeah. So, Peter, um, I, well, my, I had a UK trip that got canceled because of COVID. And Liverpool and New York were on my itineraries to go see. So, I not, I missed out on that one. The final bell says, what country um, will you gain the most weight in because the food is so good? So... Here's the thing, Paris, like France, Italy, and Greece. And the U.S. But um, not because it's necessarily great, but it's just a lot. For me, those three are the ones where I eat the most, um, but I never gain weight in those places because I'm going, going, going. Because someone's lucky. No. <laughs> I know. I also pay attention to what I'm eating. I know. I don't you're eat you're a better things. person. I know. I know. Anyway, all right. Oh, it felt like winter Thanks, in Ireland. Me. Oh, yeah. One of my, yeah. Ooh. It's hot as Hades up. here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So, yes, Cider. We are, we have stayed in many Airbnbs over the years and VRBOs and yeah. air rentals, so we have stayed quite a few. But since the birthday girl is getting a little tired, we're going to sign you. off. I just want to say thank you to Mark Finley, who's been on the ball here tonight, and everybody that's been here, all the Marks, all the Nicks, all the Rusties, all the Lees, all the Means to Travels, the Derricks, the Lisses, everybody out there. We want to say thank, thank you, you so much for everything Brian, and all the birthday wishes you. for Jocelyn. Um, everybody that's out here, Purdue. Thanks, Reggie. <laughs> Reggie. Yeah. Oh, Reggie Man's here? Yeah. Oh, cool, 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 um, cool. Anyway, y'all take care of yourselves and be kind and wear your mask and keep yourself safe. And we will see you again next month sometime. Yep. Bye, see y'all, y'all later. Bye. Yeah.